We in here. What? Welcome to the fourteen twenty three TV, the podcast. I'm your illustrious, most melanated member of the group, Chase the Dark Sage. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm gonna pass the mic around, let everybody introduce themselves. <coughs> Hi, I'm Tevin. You know, I'm uh, right now, recently, kind of recovering from a sickness. You know, but I'm gonna make it through this, man. I might not die. I thought I was gonna die. So we pass it along to Sauce. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's up, yo? Now we got a special member of the group. He might be a little special led, but you know, we still love him. That boy Sauce Malone. Boy, I ain't that boy, boy. It's today. Today is that boy's birthday. Sauce Malone. You know what I'm saying? Gang, 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 shit. <laughs> Sauce Malone in the building, you know. Hey, y'all forcing it. Stop, all right? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, we back. You know what I'm saying? With another podcast. We about to get it cracking. You feel me? Go ahead, get the list out. Hey, with a list. Let's get it cracking. Okay. okay. First thing on the list the new Lion King live action trailer. Has anyone seen it? Hell no. <coughs> I watched it. I watched the Tainal Club, man. I, you know, I mean, it. you got it? Well, I looked at the trailer, the teaser trailer yesterday. Uh, I seen some of the like, uh, images from the animated movie, and I think I'm going to have like some some tear-dropping moments, bro. Cause oh, I, I, no, for real, though, man. I love that movie growing up, bro. Everybody do. I know, but I, I, it just... <clears throat> all right, it's like when I watched The Jungle Book, because I just remember like, I always watching The Jungle Book as a kid, bro, and just seeing things like when he was whistling the bear... Like watching that trailer with uh, Jungle Book, and he was like, "What's called bare necessities or something like that." Like I remember hearing, you know, just whistling. I was like, "Damn, that shit just it just hit my heart." I don't know little things like that that I, I love growing up, and then it comes to like my adulthood. I'm just like, "Dang, it kind of it remind me of those good times, man, when I, everything was simple, bro." Huh? It just make me feel old. Ah, hey. Corey, have you seen the Lion King trailer? I ain't gonna see that shit. Why not? Why not? That shit is stupid. They changed everybody out. They took out the like uh, the nigga who did Scar, who was like the most important voice, replaced him with some black dude. That shit's gonna be ass. Do you feel like uh, Mufasa's uh, was James Earl Jones? Yeah, he did the first. Yeah. Movie. Do you think he should still play Mufasa? Is he still playing Mufasa? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cause he 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 reprises role as Darth Vader in Rogue One, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you feel like this movie's gonna be trash? Yeah, nigga. They changed out Jeremy Irons as the voice of Scar. You feel like that because it's all black cast? I mean, nobody trying to hear Chance the Rapper bitch ass sing a song either. <laughs> how do you feel about Lion King coming in a live action movie? I didn't see it. But but how do you feel about it? it? I mean, it's dope, you know? It's just nostalgic, really. Nothing really much to me, though. Hey, B, ain't your favorite rapper supposed to be playing the main character? No, I don't have a favorite rapper. One of my favorite uh, guys in the world, Childish Gambino. Oh my god! Probably like you know Donald Glover. He's probably like my man crush. You know what I'm saying? Gay. Hey, not gay. Just saying like. Gay. That's why that hole is around his mouth on the, because of the end of that vinyl cover. Oh my god! Hey, hey, hey. yo, that's uh, you know, but uh, yeah, I'm 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 excited for it. Anything Donald Glover do, or like you know what I mean? I'm excited for it. Beyonce's in it. That's I'm a little sketchy about that. I just, voice, that's why. I just don't know how how she's gonna be as uh, as uh, Nyla, bro. Yeah, she got a man voice, but when she sing, oh, yeah, she can sing, but she ain't gonna be singing as she's doing that dialogue, though. Boy, you just gonna hear that 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 voice. I wish I could. I can't talk like her right now, but it's she got that slim thug voice, boy. She like it's going uh, down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get the. Uh, some uh, one of the other topics. I don't want to get too heavy into something real quick for the uh, quick hits. Uh, the new Crit EP, three songs, thrice X. Thrice X. You know, I know you never. <coughs> How'd you feel about the EP, Jorge? It was pretty good. Uh, I'm excited for whatever he's gonna drop next. Which he's dropped some every year, so he'll probably drop something like besides this. What, next? You talking about the beginning? 
You think he'll drop some first quarter next year? <coughs> uh, I doubt that he drops something in December. If he do, shoot me. But the last time he, he dropped the album last year, it was around this time, wasn't it? Uh, I don't think Back so. In, I think it was it like was, it was during the fall semester. Probably beginning. I give it October. I give it August, or October. Yeah. Thinking, I'm thinking August. I really think it's October. Probably October is. Let's September. do our facts. You know what I mean? Uh, I just listened to it recently, be like an hour ago. I listened to three songs, but. I didn't really like really just really listen to him, but like I know one is like his lyrical joint, one is like the little banger, and the third one, to be honest, I don't kind of really remember it. October. <coughs> yeah, October. So I don't really remember that one that much, but I know Chase is a brick, big crit, you know, guy. So I don't know, I don't know how what he think about it. Okay, this EP was straight flames. I've been listening to I've been re listening to a lot of his mixtapes from back uh, when he released them, like when I was in high school. Still flames. He sounds, I mean, comparing his music from now to then, he sounds a lot more cleaned up. His voice is more clear. He could, he sounds more audible when he's rapping and things like that, which is a good thing. I mean, his his old music is still good. It still bumps in the whip. You know what I'm saying? But you know, he has his hard hitting tracks. All his tracks hit like they all hit when they're in the car, which is what I love about Crit. Like he could have something. You know, super mellow, but it's still bumped like real hard. But uh, I, I like my favorite track of this is Glorious. It's the second track. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. Uh, I hope he drops another project, but not too soon though. I could wait on it. Mm-hmm. Wait for great. Of course. <coughs> I want y'all to talk about Oxnard. Oxnard. Anderson Pac. Well, I, I gave it one listen, so I don't really want to talk. I can't get really, you know, too in depth in it. But it was. I'm going to say, I look at it as an experience. I've never been to Oxnard, California. I've never even been in California. So I feel like all his little albums and tapes he put out with, you know, California cities and towns or whatever, it like, it gives you the vibe of, the, I guess, the town he feels. I guess from, I see with uh, the Oxnard album, it's all over the place. It's not really like a cohesive sound. Like everything just flows together. So I feel like he's just putting like, everything's everywhere. Like, he experimented with his like Oxnard is just uh, all over the place place how they can feel in the head because like in the beginning he's like getting head in like a car or whatever huh? with this chick and it got like little slurping noises at the end of it I'm just like whoa definitely you know, not bumping and in, in the, the whip. second track I can't whip. think of the name of the song the beat I do not like that beat I do not like that beat. that's like the worst beat on there and then the last song is kind of long I like that Snoop Dogg feature that was pretty cool and I really gotta listen to it more for I can just uh, really dissect like my really feel of the album. I gotta get at least four or five more listens for it. I'm gonna hit it to Jorge because I'm pretty sure he listens to it multiple times, probably more than me. So here you go, Jorge. Speak your piece. How you feel about Oxnard? <coughs> uh, it was alright. That shit was kind of mid, but I'm not a big Anderson Pack fan anyway. How many listens did you give it? Uh, I listened to it like two and a half times. I thought you was, uh, 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 well, I guess I'm more of a bigger fan than you, right? How many albums are anything you listen to? I only ever heard, what was the last one, Malibu? Oh, yeah, yeah. That it? shit was alright. It was alright? There's nothing heat in the catalog? That I think he's know? more talented than he's good at making music. Yeah, also, he that. he's doing that <laughs> Tory shit like, that I dislike. Where, like, he's a singer who can rap, but now he wants to rap more than he wants to sing. And I'd rather hear him sing. But he's a good rapper. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but I don't want to hear. I get low listen to other niggas rap. He has a very <clears throat> distinct voice, so when I hear that nigga, I'm trying to hear him sing. Just like I'm getting tired of Tory. Like I'm glad he made his new album, singing, cause Memories Don't Die had a little too much rapping. Wait, so you like I Tory, Love Me Tory Now more rapping. than Memories Don't Die? No, I just like the style of it more. Tory came out rapping. My introduction <coughs> was rapping, not singing. My introduction to him was. The uh, melodic stuff because he was rapping and singing on the track, and I'm like, Oh, he's doing both. <clears throat> I mean, I haven't listened to Oxnard, I haven't really. My introduction to uh, Anderson Pac was uh, the yeah, the Compton soundtrack for Straight Out of Compton, but I mean, he's, he sounds pretty cool. I mean, I'll give it a listen one day, not now, but I'm on the 88 Glam 2 still, I'm still trying to give that a few listens. <clears throat> 88 Glam 2, um, 88 Glam is a group under the weekend XO's label, uh. The Glam Boy, 88 Camino. 
first listen, I thought it was super trash. I was listening, to, I was listening to it in the car with Shaq, who was coming from the Astro World concert. I'm like, yo, this is not bumping right now. Like, I'm just, like you just, just huh? Had to I was liking it. I like, no, I like I'm saying. <coughs> no, but see, their first album is completely that. This, I was like, yo, this is this ain't it because I'm going off of Nas. 88 Glam Two is gonna change their lives. I'm like, what sound are they about to have on here? What are they about to do with that? Like yeah, but I'm like, yo, I'm like, yo. I mean, Nas feature. It was one of his weaker features of this year, and it was a weaker song. 88 Glam uh, <coughs> discography, but overall, I like the album now. I've listened to it, I don't know how many times this week, probably over fifty. I don't know. I have it play I have it playing a lot. Like I have it playing in the background of my crib. Like when I'm doing stuff for the podcast and things like that. So uh I gave it plenty I gave it plenty of listens. Some of my favorite tracks is like Kawasaki, the song with Gunner Racks, or Snow Globe, Purple Baguettes, and uh Dang, um Blue Faces. But uh that's about it for 88 Glam too. I mean, I still gotta give it a few more listens, but 88 Glam One is still my my better my favorite album over that. <sighs> Big I gotta take a breather, man. Yeah. Hey, did anyone listen to that Zero album? No, we're not even talking. About that. I, I cut it off right Let's after see. the first track. I don't even hear that Zero. What's the? Uh, I don't even hear Zero, bro. That's just trash. It's so trash. Uh. We could go. What do you want to talk about? We could talk about uh, first Thanksgiving without our families. Oh, jeez, like I've been going freaking years uh, on this right here. This like what my fourth year. Well, not being back Thanksgiving home without your family. Yeah, <clears throat> like not being back home. Oh, you been yeah. home? I thought you been with no family. Like how we was this year. Last now, last year, I, I I stayed at home by myself. Family was all Did gone. you have any family cooking food though? No, there? they didn't bring me oh nothing. Cause I, well, let me tell you about me, man. Like, <coughs> I ain't gonna get too into it. It's just like I'm not really a, like a family family person. Same. Like when we had get-togethers at my grandmother's house, man, I just really uh, stay in my room or whatever, and like wait till I have a plate of everybody dining or like I was the first one to eat because I was in the house. But other than that, man, I don't really do really well with like family. Like I just dip. I dip easily. You quick. do like being by yourself. Yeah, that's just how I am. I'm just, I'm really a loner. Like, I be chilling, bro. I do too, but like, I just like occasionally like to go out. Right. Because it's just like, it's just boring being by yourself all the time. No, it's not. Not, well, not if it's you that type of person. I love being I mean, by I'm myself. I'm that type of person, but, but I, I, like, I like to go out. I like to go out, though. Yeah. But I love being by myself. I'd rather yeah. be by myself than go out. Yeah, I, I guess because I'm not used to really like going out and like, I just don't really, I'm just used to being like to myself or like, you know, just doing what I want to do. That's what I'm saying. Like, my thing is, I don't really get bored. I just do what I want, you know? Yeah, I never get bored. That's why I say I'm, I'm never bored. Because if I am if I don't want to do what I'm doing, I do something else. So it's yeah. like I'm doing exactly what I'm doing. There's so much music to listen to right. that came out that we probably missed. Yeah. So there's so, there's so much things to do. That you can 100% a game or something. Right. It's like, there's a lot to do. But like, how you feel uh, without being with your family this year? <clears throat> I mean, I'm not a too much of. A, I am a family person, but then I'm not like. My dad kind of veered me into just like you know being on my own, trying to do shit on my own. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I mean, it was. I'm not tripping. I'm 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 gonna go see him for uh Christmas, so I'm not really tripping on it. It's like basically Thanksgiving too. Right. Basically. What about yeah. you, Jorge? This your first year, though, right? Uh, yeah, this was my first year not seeing my parents for Thanksgiving. They usually come up here. I'll go down there for like a couple of days, but niggas ain't trying to get fired, so I had to work. And they, uh, my dad worked too, actually, so it wasn't that bad. My homie seen his parents. His parents is like Hispanic, like mine, so them niggas sent me some food home. Oh, man, what y'all had like tamales? No, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think I'm a. Uh, my mom teach, so she's busy all the time, but she says she want to come up, like, in a couple weeks or something, so right. I'm sure I'll see you again. Mm-hmm. Well, this is uh, this is my first uh, Thanksgiving without seeing my family, because I, I was here. I had to work, that's why, because <coughs> I wanted that 50% coupon, which I thought was more, which I thought I was going to get that day, but no, Ass. exactly. Why do I have to get the coupon after the day of Black Friday? God. What you mean after the day of Black Friday? When we get the... You know, Black Friday is when all the deals happen. 
So you initially want to so use that coupon on the bills? No, I'm saying we're getting it after. Like we're getting it after that day. I'm getting it on the thirty. What you said for the next one. God, that's after, that's literally a day after my birthday. I know. I wanted to use it for them AirPods, but I'm getting them for Christmas, so I don't care. I know. I've been. I wish I could steal them, man. I wish I worked them. Man, I would too. Oh, well, what? You know? I don't, I don't steal. Yeah. That's just a joke. I wish I would have saw something for a sale price, and I would have bought them. Right. <laughs> yeah. I can't incriminate myself on the cast. Come on, bro. Of course not. That's just a hypothetical you was talking about. <laughs> but uh, how'd y'all feel? Imagine me. Hey, how'd y'all feel about working Black Friday at Walmart? Chill, I ain't tripping. I was just chilling all day, so it was good for me. Well, me, me and the gang, you know what I mean? We was TV boys, me, Jorge, and uh, Chase. We, uh, you know, they was my little subordinates. I had them uh, picking up the TVs while I, I took the tickets. You know what I mean? I let them, I let them take the, uh, I let them take the tickets, bro. But it was, it was, it was cool. We had fun. Uh, really chill, like just to, just to, uh, kind of me felt like. Felt like a normal day, but it kind of felt like you skipping finals in school or something like that. Like after you done your finals, you just walking around. That's basically what we did. So. <laughs> it was cool. Shoot, after my finals, I went straight home. I don't know what you're talking about. And hey, your house is right there, boy. Exactly. I walked. Right there. Hey, but uh, it was a pretty chill day on Black Friday. I mean, nothing too crazy happened. I thought I was gonna see a fight or something, but no. Uh, I mean, our section was pretty quiet though, even though we were selling a big TV for such a low price. Yeah. I mean, I but. Just feel like that. <coughs> Yeah, that's what everybody said. But uh, what do you think about it over here? Uh, <clears throat> that shit was, it wasn't that bad. Well, I mean, we was handing out the trash TV, so mm -hmm. wasn't nobody really hurting to get a fucking high sense. They but yeah, them, it wasn't that busy. Uh, my homie worked at Best Buy. He told me it was crazy over there because they ain't got <laughs> niggas taking tickets and getting in lists and shit. Probably because it's smaller, too. I was trying to get a fucking PS4, but... Niggas ran out. So that's probably gotta tell me I don't need that shit because PS4 is trash. Boy. <coughs> I was gonna say you can use my pro you can use the problem account on a uh, Monday if they got one for one ninety nine. Oh, he don't want the PS4 now. PS4 no more? No. Well, how do you feel about working Black Friday? He said it's no, I said, I, it was that's good. A, oh, that's yeah. all you had to say? Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Chilling, bro. Yeah. Next on the docket, as we're able to say. Yeah. Creed two. We seen it. You didn't want to see it, bro. You didn't want to see Creed 2? Bro, I don't care about no damn Creed. You, Creed, bro. you don't bro. care about a black boxer? We don't really care about it. Either. In fact, bro, before we get into that, Jorge, we're in fact, before that, before that. Because he watched it late. He watched Creed 1 late. Yeah, I, I, watched, mean, I, watched, I watched it last month. Creed 1 was good, but I mean, that was like, Wait, wait. Before we get into this. run to the theaters. And, oh, Creed. Hey, no. nah, it wasn't like that. No, huh? Well, was, hey, but you gotta think, it was a five dollar ticket. Usually yeah, tickets are like ten dollars there. I, I was, I was. Hey, I was. Hey, I was, I was like, <coughs> I'm trying to have that five percent ten. Wait, wait, wait. I want, I want Jorge to introduce this new segment we got. Uh, he had cooking up. Wait, hold on. Let's do that after. You want to do that after Creed two? Yeah. All right, fine. We're gonna go with the Creed two. How do you how do you oh, God. how do you feel about the movie? Trash. All right. Um, <coughs> wait, wait. Michael B. Jordan. No, it's I, not. Yes, yes. but yes. Me, nah. Wait, 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 wait. Do you care about spoilers? Nah, he don't care. I didn't care. Wait, I thought you just didn't care about seeing the movie. It was on spoil. It ain't really a bad spoiler. spoiler, bro. It's not the spoil. It's not nah, even. Nah, don't spoil. No spoilers. Nope. That's hard for me. I'm just going acting wise, because that's my biggest gripe with the film. Oh, is B, acting. Was Joe Budden right? What? Oh, I don't know. Well, I, I can spoil that one. Uh, you don't care. Honey. Well, anyway, let me get into this. Shit, so, like, oh. When it comes to Michael B. Jordan, bro, yeah. he barely has any dialogue in the movies, bro. Like, yeah. um, I feel oh. like not in like all his movies, he, he don't really have full dialogue. He had dialogue in Black Panther. Yeah, but not much. I liked him in Black Panther. I like Killmonger. Just his uh, ideologies. That's it. Yeah. But I want to talk about Creed. I just feel like. He cry. He's like freaking Deku and Boku no Hero, bro. Oh my God. All he do is cry and just act like a little wuss, bro. Like, he just be crying. And um, he just sits there and just act like a little spoiled brat when uh, things don't go his way. And then he's... It's like, all right. I'm, I, I, Wait. I, I know is he Vegeta? Probably. 
But Vegeta's a man. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, what's his name? Adonis. He was being a little mark, bro. Like him and his uh, girl. I don't feel like no chemistry between the two. She barely had any dialogue. It's barely dialogue in the film to me, bro. Barely had any dialogue because she could barely hear him in there. Yeah, she can't hear. But they had a kid. <coughs> Spoiler alert. And it was one point of the movie when I'm thinking, yo, the baby stopped crying and they say, no, it's shot. It's skipped to like, you know, him and the baby at the box. Again. I'm like, oh, he about to run a fade with the baby? I'm like, oh, snap. But turns out he, he punched a punching bag and guess what else he did? Cried. This nigga crying every scene he's in. Bro, he just cries, bro. Like, bro, you can't say he didn't cry in, like every <coughs> scene. Stress, Stressed about what? Hey, hey, you gotta see. B, you gotta B, see B, B. But, Don't lie. He kinda got torn up in that in that in that first. But before fight. that he was crying. Oh, he was crying. He cried all the time. Man, he, he was whining, not crying. Bro, cr- then he started crying. Yeah, because he felt like no one was in his corner with him. What do you mean? You People going through stress, people. bro. You can't go through stress. But you thought you like, no, bro, if you got nobody, bro, if you got nobody, what you gonna do? All right, this was this. All right, what if your girl left you and left you? What? Just not. You didn't have nobody. I'm not gonna cry, bro. I've been through things. I felt. I felt like everybody was against me before. Like, that's did you like cry the first time. I, I've been going through that my whole life. How did you cry the first time? I am an emotional person, but I know I didn't cry. So you didn't cry the other time? Never, like that. never cried when I felt like that. Lying, never, never, what ever, lying, ever. Bro. I didn't cry, bro. Like, and plus... What if that was his first time and he just going through that shit? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but he's not going through that. He's crying because people told him not to fight the dude. Yeah, but he felt like no one Why? believed in him. This is the guy that killed his dad, B. That don't mean nothing. That was his dad. Like, he didn't know that. He, he just found out okay, that his dad. This is a, his father, if you want me to be specific. That's his sperm donor. He, the father. Dude, the dude cheated on his no, freaking... that's his biological father. Yeah, the dude cheated on his wife and, and knocked up a freaking stripper or something. Like, hey, he didn't care about, about that dude, man. Like that. Right, right. That's right. why I don't feel like the connection him with his dad. Like, I, I don't Wait, even feel like wife. this should be a movie. Oh, yeah. That's his adopted mom. That's his adopted yeah. mom. That's what I'm saying. Like... <laughs> I don't even feel the, the, the his connection he got with, with Creed. It just he liked the box. Whoopee. But Ryan Coogler, he he Ryan Coogler like put it ground more ground to me, like with the story. Like in the beginning, like uh he kinda interacted more. I like Creed one better because I felt like you see more in the character. This time it wasn't really nothing. It I, I didn't feel no progression with him or nothing like that. No, no, nothing. I just didn't. Well, I hate me when main characters be crying like this. He, bro, he cried so much, bro. Hey, B, there's gonna be there's one part in the movie where I was rolling when it showed a uh, Drago like dad. Yeah. He was beating up Creed. Yeah, <laughs> this, this looks so bad. Yeah, it just looks bad. I'm like, like, like yo, look like he's in the punchy doll. Uh, I like the movie. I thoroughly enjoyed the movie. Um, does he cry a lot? Yeah, but I understand his motivation because uh, I he I felt like he felt that he had no one in his corner to believe in him that he so could fight this cry. guy. If I was in his situation, you'll cry like a little baby. It not like a yeah, little baby. He was <laughs> how, how, how bad was he crying? Though? Was Dog, he no, crying? no. After that fight, no. After that fight, he was in the hospital type. Right. He was in the yeah because his mentor like dad figure was like there and he was like you didn't believe in me the one person I needed to believe in Ooh, me, Rocky yeah he wasn't there what oh Rocky did the same thing in well, the Rocky first didn't, movie. why Rocky didn't go no nah, not in the first yes, movie he did. wait in why Rocky, Rocky didn't go he still was like I'm not gonna I don't, I don't train but but that but see that's the thing he wasn't his dad like figure at that He's point still not his dad like figure yeah, now I he like is for- why I don't like this wait, force Rocky thing go, with Rocky yeah. and Creed. Rocky couldn't fight. He's trash. Boy. Them niggas got a real... Philly got a whole real fucking Rocky in Philly. It, which in who? What boxer? What famous boxer? Depends. I don't know which one's from Philly. Ain't Joe Frazier from Philly? Is he? Man, one of them dudes from Philly. <laughs> Joe Frazier from Philly. And they got a Rocky statue, bro. Y'all got a real life good boxer from Philly, and y'all represent a fake figure that the boxing looked trash in the movie, anyways, bro. Rocky trash, the lone trash. He's a racist, and I don't know why they trying to connect him and Creed together. They all whack. I don't feel they they connection nothing. And even Creed was a better actor than him in the first movie. I mean, uh, uh, uh Michael B. Jordan was better in the first movie than freaking Stallone, and Stallone gets a freaking award. I mean, get some freaking nomination. He was trash. Get out of here, bro. 
trash. Yeah. And the movie is like me just thinking about the movie <coughs> Creed Two again. Yeah, it's all right. Man, the movie the movie was good. I mean, he had a lot of stress on him. Me, he had a baby. He had a baby that was deaf. And I felt like there was one point where uh, she was like, "What would you do if the baby's deaf?" Oh, oh, they'll be fi- oh, he'll be fine. I feel acceptable. When he found out the baby was deaf, he was crying. Me, I thought like, I don't think the baby was deaf. No, I mean like not literally like completely deaf, but no, because they couldn't really, they weren't sure about because it was too like it's too early to see. But that's why I think when he had the baby and he tried to calm him down, he really couldn't because I guess the baby really couldn't hear no, him like that. No, they don't, they don't, like, so you don't, so you think the baby? Had a little baby, bro, you, you just don't know how to like. You be like hey, I had Tate in my hands. I'm just I'm gonna you like, dang, shut up, baby. Man, times, yeah, and this is the guy that doesn't like Creed too because he was crying too much. God, now we see why. No, I'm just saying. I think the baby. I think the baby was deaf. Not, not like oh, completely deaf, but he had a little deaf to it. A little Helen Keller. I don't think so. Uh-huh. Right. Well, how do you feel about Creed Two? Wait, first of all, can you tell us what you snuck into the theater? <laughs> oh, I snuck some bread in there. What else? <laughs> uh, some margarine. <laughs> God. Stick of butter, hey, damn, t- uh, 69 got 25 years, y'all. It ain't that, man. They sis him already? That fast? Nigga, he didn't even went to trial yet. He ain't even went to trial yet. Oh, he facing it, though. <laughs> yeah, he facing it. Uh, I liked it. I really like all of them. Well, not all of them, but I used to be a big fan of the Rocky movie. My dad is, too, so he made me watch him. Uh, Creed 1 is a good movie. It's like probably the third best one. This one's probably like. Fifth or sixth, I don't know. Cause it, there's, it, like the original Rocky movie had like two real bad movies, and then a few good ones. These two, they both pretty good so far, but you could tell this one's a step down from when Ryan Coogler was on the first one. Cause I mean that nigga's way more talented than whoever the bum they was that did this one. How do y'all feel about the character development of the villain? Character. That nigga had he, no character. Do you feel like he had motivation? He had fucking six lines of the movie. He talking said, "I don't he, even know her." He had motivation. Oh, they, they they really he act. Well, the antagonist. If you want me to do that, <coughs> shoot. The way he was beating him up, he was a villain. He, he broke was. that boy's ribs twice. Bro, if it was in a reverse situation, it'd be the same shit. What you mean? Like, what if you made him the protagonist? But yeah, man. Uh, yeah, villain. You can still have a protag. You can still have your villain be a protag. Yeah, they kind of made you feel. Yeah, for it. <coughs> well, they tried to make you feel for the Russian. So did he felt like a villain for y'all. He no. was. He, he didn't mean villain. He, he meant an, he, he, he meant antagonist. Like he was just the opposing force against Creed. Yeah. He can't be a villain if he only had like four lines. <laughs> well, his dad was the villain then. That nigga only spoke one line. <coughs> what about that one black guy that's like in every black movie now? Ed Wood. That's his name? Or something. Wood, Wood Harris. Yeah, no, he, he, no, not the not, nigga from the wire. Not Ace Boogie. Yo, the what? one that's the one that's uh the, 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 the other one, the one that was thrown up, he was like, You don't want to end up like your dad in that ring. Huh. The guy that they promoted the fight? Yeah. I only seen him. That's my first oh, I seen him in a whole bunch of black stuff. I think that I think he was the son of that dude from Rocky Five. Which that nigga was a bitch too. But uh if I had to rank him, I'd probably say Rocky one, two uh, four, Creed. Fucking Rocky three and then Creed two, so that's like the top five. But uh, yeah, I mean it was cool. Sylvester Stallone ain't do shit. He was real good in the first one. This one, that nigga was like resting on his laurels and shit. His story didn't really add nothing to it. Yeah, I was about to say, how do you feel about that? I feel like they could have cut that out and they would have been cool. I mean, yeah, it, it retconned the last Rocky movie because in that one he's like cool with his son, and that nigga definitely doesn't have a kid. And that shit was like right before this. But uh. Was it? Yeah, it was cool to see Dolph Lundgren come back though. That nigga can actually like act now. Who? That he was the Russian. The the dad. Yeah, you ever hear the story <coughs> about them in that movie? What you mean? Uh, they was like fighting. You know how they fake box or whatever. And Sylvester Stallone was like, Nah, nigga, hit me for real. I want to feel it. And he punched that nigga so hard that his uh heart like got enlarged. And he was in the, like ICU for like a week while they were shooting. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it was cool to see that nigga come back. <laughs> a little fun fact about Jorge. I don't think that's like the grit with his heart enlarged by like what three times the size. I don't think they're gonna make a third one though, because it seems like all them niggas is busy now. I feel like they should make a third one. on like seventy five years old, so let that nigga rest. Do you feel like he should die in the next Creed movie if they make one? 
I think so. I don't think. I don't think this one's gonna make enough money for them to make enough. I want Rocky to die in this one. Let him die. Not like Sylvester Stallone, but well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. From this, because this is my thing. Where are they gonna go from this point? I feel like he faced his biggest, uh, his biggest opposing fear or whatever. So where would you? How can he? How can they go further than this? Okay, they can't because oh, oh, uh, <coughs> that's the problem niggas have with Rocky Three and Four. But I mean, Four was like propaganda, so that's different. Yeah, after Two, he had already lost to the Apollo, who was the greatest. Then he beat him, so now he's the go. So what's he gonna do next? Instead, they brought up fucking Hulk Hogan in that fucking movie for some reason. Mr. T was like, they gonna fight Mr. <coughs> T, son. Mr. T was a cool villain, yeah. but I mean, Mr. that nigga ain't do. He he ain't really had no reason to be in that movie. And the same thing happened with Four, and they couldn't figure out what to do there, so they just killed off the black dude. Cause Carl Weathers was gonna be in a what's that movie Predators. Yeah, yeah. So I mean. The Rockies been having problems with this for a while. Like, I only like their movies because they're like, <coughs> like it's cheese. Yeah, no, only like Rocky one and two are like actually good. The rest of them is like mid. Yeah, five is bad. That, that, six that, that, is bad too. I mean, the Rockies in that box of meat, boy. It, it, what? Uh, Rocky Balboa was yeah, cool, I but I guess oh. it don't matter in the yeah. timeline no more. And Rocky five probably the worst movie ever made. So I feel like they. Oh, five after that. Balboa or is Balboa after five? Balboa was six because that's the one where he fights <laughs> Floyd Mayweather. He fights Floyd Mayweather. A dude, it's like a dude who's exactly like Floyd. He's oh. like, he's like talkative. He's a shooter, right? Niggas think he's like a cheater or whatever. Uh, niggas think he like hit women. I think, except Floyd actually do hit women. But hey, that's somebody you get down with, bro. Uh, you gonna leave me hanging? Yes. Uh, uh, all right. Let's go into a. Uh, let's go into a. Uh, a thing that we was getting into earlier this week. Well, yeah, a thing we was getting into earlier this week. We waiting for B right now. So, uh, Shaq, what'd you do for your birthday at Fry? Chill, because my niggas didn't want to go out. I ain't broke. I looked at my bank account. I can't even Black Friday shop. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't. No, I just did a chill. I was going to try to do something next week because I get paid. But... I get paid too next week. And guess what? Yeah. Ran. Right after my birthday. I have something up over there. I, to do some shit. I want credit card. Damn. I'm over a thousand dollars in debt. Boy, I don't bro. care who all those. <laughs> <laughs> I'm broke boy. Let me say this. I'm about to hit my max on my credit card too though. Yeah. yeah I'm, you gotta pay that shit. Wait, you, uh, you pay every month. Huh? I pay it every time I get paid. Pay my shit off and it's done. Don't need none of that in my life. Nah, trust me, I needed it, dog. No, I needed my credit card. Yeah. Like, if I didn't have it, I probably wouldn't be in this apartment. But, yeah. Uh, we were talking about this earlier this week. Well, oh, really. Wait, hold on, I could do it now. <coughs> <clears throat> All right, so uh, I don't even know how long. It might have been two weeks ago. We was talking about uh, black people shit and how they were showing, like, negative stuff. And Tevin said that, like, yeah, a lot of times when they talking about black issues or people or anything, so it's negative shit, like how niggas is criminals or whatever. So we saw we're going to try and do this thing where uh, once a week we shout out some nigga, like a black dude or woman who's out here doing some live shit. So me and Chase was at the gym. I seen this young nigga from Dallas, uh, Maurice Hooker. He was fighting on ESPN. Defeated his uh, welterweight championship and he beat that nigga ass, knocked him out in like six rounds. So, you know, we got our niggas winning boxing ring, I mean, championships again. Yeah. Beside yeah, Floyd, who be out here like <laughs> kicking women and shit. So, shout out Maurice Hooker. We gonna watch your career, nigga. Don't let us down. Yeah. Hey, but, shout uh, out to you, dog. Yeah, no, nah, this is the first part of this. Um, We're gonna try to make it a weekly thing because, I mean, we all niggas in here. So, might as well shout out niggas who doing dope shit. Right. Hey, I like that, man. What what would we call that segment? Uh, I don't know. We'll come up with a name on the later on. We just call it um, <coughs> Black Empowerment. We just call it Black Excellence. It's just call it Black Excellence. No, that's kind of corny. Even though that's corny now, yeah, that's. Wait, like I, mean, I think Black Excellence is corny. Cause niggas start nah. using it for shit. Cause people that saying it just for dumb yeah, shit. Bro, I just pee straight Black Excellence. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, I'm saying that's just how it's just. It's like saying woke now. You know when people just overuse something, you be like, eh, it's just, like trash now. Like I don't even want to. I don't even want to be woke. Like I don't. It was overused. 
What woke? Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why I feel like black excellence is gonna go down. It's like I love you know people thinking about you know black empowerment and black excellence. I love it, but sometimes you be like, all right, bro, dang, like <laughs> kind of calm down a little bit. You know what I mean? Like you ain't really about it. So I don't know. I hate it. That's hey, you should have been in there for Black Friday. I say, bro, you notice they got all the black cops here for Black Friday? Hey, stay woke. You said <laughs> you said it was nothing but black cops there, wasn't it? Yeah, it was no true. other cops. But they were like, hey, if some pop off, we want the niggers to be there. You know what I <laughs> mean? That's what I'm saying. It was nothing but black cops. Uh, two two black male cops and one black uh, female stay cop. Woke. She was built like stay me. woke. That's I'm telling you. Now stay woke. I hate that. What? what? No, no, that's a whole other conversation nah, it right there. It wasn't bad, but it was just annoying. That song was dope. All right. Tyler Gambino, we was talking about this. Uh, we was talking about this song. A few, well, not this song. We was talking about the subject a few days ago, right? Who is the best, like, young thug offspring, like rapper or talent? Bro, we both had. No, 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 no wait, like, they both. He's just talking about like. We got Gunna. We got Baby. Right. We got Uzi. Saw baby. Uzi's not a fucking young <coughs> thug. He is. Yeah, he's a little bit of a young thug. Also. NBA young boy. I can see. Uzi's like his own thing, bro. No. NBA young boy. Fuck yes, no. NBA young boy. I didn't think so. Then they start bringing up like his melodic things he has now. I go outside today. Yeah, but he's he's like today. Like he sounds just like young thug. Young thug melodic shit don't be like that. <coughs> they be on some other. Shit. <coughs> That's how he sound. Yeah, I don't know. I, the NBA Young Boy one, I don't know. I don't really know too much of Young Boy music to just really say. Yeah, he but young but uh, yeah, I'm just saying, I never. I, a couple just, years ago, he wasn't singing at all, and then Thug just because somebody want to go to melodic shit, then we just copy. <coughs> yeah, I don't think he's. I right, never mind. But when he sounds young like Thug, Thug, copy Lil Wayne then. That means he they did. all copy Lil Wayne. Who's saying he did? A lot of people copy Lil Wayne. Young Thug said that Lil Wayne's the same rapper. They're all Lil Wayne. And guess what? Then. And guess what? Nah, because he don't. Uh, NBA Youngboy said that Young Thug is his favorite rapper because the way he uses his voice as an instrument, as NBA Youngboy quoted it. I'm gonna say this, bro. He said, Uzi, he said he likes that. Uzi is an offspring. Uzi has a song that sounds the, just like Young Thug. But the but Uzi, Uzi started his career remixing a <coughs> Young Thug the Thug songs, and I feel like Uzi is going to bring offspring. You know what I mean? Because he's that type. He I, out of the, all the Young Thug, he's just the big. He's the biggest one. He, he so he, he's that's what I'm saying. So he's gonna have right, offspring. Trippy Red. Yeah. Uh, I thought that was I thought that was Uzi on uh, that F Love song when I first heard it. Yeah, uh, <coughs> but he he kind of he he uses his voice more than Ooh. Uzi when it comes to that. Uh, Trippy Red, he just always yelling over the track. Uzi oh, yeah. does. But that. you got to think my first time like when I first heard it, I'm like I heard Trippy before, but yeah, he was nothing. When I, I heard F Love, I'm like Uzi. Yeah. Then ah, I'm like yeah. that's not Uzi. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <coughs> so it's like. That's just gonna happen, but I feel like the best one is Uzi, like period, because like Uzi, like outgrown freaking Young Thug, like like Young Thug. I felt like Young Thug was gonna be like a superstar. Like I thought he was gonna be huge, like a really big artist. What do you think stopped it? I don't know what happened, bro. Was it too much music being released? Bro, he was I don't only think really that. good on features, bro. I feel like. Like, I don't know. Like, you don't like Barter you Six? You don't like Slime Seasons? Nah, I like the Slime Seasons. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like. It's like, uh, like getting popular and shit. You know what I'm saying? I think he's popular. He's still no, popular. he's popular, bro. I'm just talking about like, like, bro. If you look like at his songs, bro, compared to his uh, features, his features be having like 120 million fucking shits on there. You is, know it, what is, I'm is that him YouTube, in the bro? artist though? Huh? But that's the other artist he's featured with. Yeah, but I'm just like, but he'll be the one that makes the track good. You know what I'm saying? Hey, this can't segue into a good uh, conversation about Young Thug, like. Why isn't he like a top, a top uh like performer right now? Like, I feel like he should be like up there with like fucking uh with like with young with uh Travis Scott. I feel like he could be on a Travis Scott level because right now Travis like top three uh artist right now, bro. Yeah, yeah. He's three? like, yeah. Who would you consider the top three? I'm talking about at the moment like Drake, Kendrick, <coughs> uh and uh and uh. And uh, Travis, like J Cole, is of course, but he's a big artist. But like Travis, right now is is his time. He's on tour right now, dope album, just everything. Like, you feel like he's number two. What you mean? Right now? Yeah, he could be. Well, you always gonna be number two with a Drake, but I feel like right saying. now his light is brighter than Drake's. Well, I don't think you'll be number two. No, I'm saying right now his light is brighter than Drake's. Like the I light is on Travis right now. That's what I'm saying. Definitely better than Drake's. I know that. You know, you get what I'm saying? I know, yeah. Good. 
like the light is on Travis right now, but I feel like yeah, this is yeah right now Travis doing his thing. What you think about it, Jorge? Jorge, you're the young thug aficionado, so uh, we like to hear your take. <laughs> No, he really does love young thug. Uh, he he was the first one to be on that shit he's on, and as we all know, it's usually not the first nigga to do some shit that pops. With it's usually like yeah, the nigga who follows up after him that be blowing up off of that. Right. So niggas like Uzi, <laughs> Gunna to a certain extent, Top you know, Baby definitely be on some weird shit. Uzi's more popular than Thug, no? Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm saying. No, that's it. Like but, think, yeah, Tevin was telling me about the first punk band. I ain't even heard of them niggas before, right. but I heard about the niggas who came after them. Cause right. once somebody makes something cool, it just takes somebody else to come after, and, like eat up all that popularity and shit. Yeah. Like, uh, I mean, you could say a bunch of rappers were doing sing rap before Drake, like fucking Roscoe Dash and niggas like that, or fucking Jaru. Yeah, Any, I don't know what Jairo. happened. Though. That nigga just disappeared. Uh, Big Sean stole his swag and he disappeared after that. <laughs> It's a song with Travis that Roscoe Dash did that he sound exactly like Big Sean. Oh, you talking about like, uh, like it's okay. called Home or whatever. Yeah. But uh <coughs> Yeah, no, it's that. He had a lot of label problems, a lot of his music leaked. And uh yeah, no, I think he was just too strange. Also, a thing that I've been talking to like Chase about and Kane, because he just this, this, this that nigga that worked with us, he a big thug fan too. He was on podcast. Yeah, he was a <clears throat> Young Thug would have moments where he needed to drop some like really great shit. And he would drop something that was all right. Like when his uh, R and B album dropped, he was like hitting peak <coughs> popularity. Then, if he would have dropped like a rap album, like more of a thug project, like the Jeffrey, yeah, he would have definitely blew up more. Instead, he dropped R and B, which was cool, but it was too weird for a lot of niggas, especially like the intro and shit. Beautiful thugger girl, that joint. Yeah, and uh, yeah, like when Travis was hitting, no, that, name, but I that think. actually happened with Travis before too, because. <laughs> Birds, I feel like Birds was like that for him. Like, if Birds would have been better, he probably would have blew up a lot faster than he did. But I feel like a couple songs on Birds helped him. Like, I mean, yeah, they still out. went up. But, like, if he would have dropped Astro when Birds come out, he probably would have been on this Astro well, right for, not like... I want him to drop Birds, dude, if he dropped Yeah, for like, for, like, three years or whatever. But, anyway, yeah, I mean, Travis, he has a lot more better people around him. Like, Doug had a bunch of snakes around him for a while. Uh, I mean, yeah, he was on some hit songs before, but it's like Shaq said, a lot of his features be blown up. Like, Lifestyle's a top, it was a top 10 hit. Oh, fucking, uh, oh, yeah. About the Money was a top 10 hit. That shit with Tiger was, that Daddy was, Glover remix kind of that was one of Tiger's last hits for a while, at least till Taste came out. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it can't, I think it's a combination of bad management. He's a little too weird for niggas. And he's not as like mainstream friendly as like Uzi makes mainstream music kind of now. Like all my friends, that shit is not mainstream, but it also is because it has like that bouncing bass line and shit that nigga could like groove to and shit. And it has a feel. And but a yeah, vibe. Thug was making a lot of weird shit when he should have probably been making some like mainstream ish shit. Like Barter That's Six, like if Barter it. Six came out with like some of his later shit instead of some of the later shit that came out, I feel like he would have blew up more because that shit really is like. Probably the perfect thug project besides like Slime Season 1. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, nah, it's probably too late for him to become like a big ass superstar. I think he'll set on to like that medium lane where like we always gonna care about him, but he's never gonna be like, you know, performing like at the Grammys or some shit, like as a headliner or something like that. What if he catch a big one though? I mean, he was on the number one song this year. What's the number one song? Uh, it was that Havana song with Camilla Cabello. Oh, yeah, that chick, yeah, Gosh, he was. What? Is it too late for Young Thug to get like super, super popular? Like he could have been back then? I think so. <clears throat> Do you like feel like he missed his opportunity to be in that spotlight? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, he was in the spotlight, but where he could have been. Right, I understand. I, I don't want to say it's too late, but I feel like I say he's on the clock and it's ticking fast, bro. I think the clock ran out. Think, think so? Like, I in think terms so of talent, Thug is way more talented than some of the niggas he came up with. Like, uh, he was with Gucci in them at first. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's, be- he's better than Gucci, so he's also better than the Migos, and they're way bigger than him. <coughs> uh, he's better than Travis, and Travis is a million times bigger than that nigga. Like, I remember if you would ask me a few years ago who's going to blow up out of them, I would have probably said Thug because I thought he was more talented. Mm-hmm. But Travis is just a smarter businessman. He moved better, moved different. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, I feel like Young perfected his sound. Too. Yeah, Young Thug and like. 10 years or so He's gonna be like When we talk about Like when we talk about Old rappers now uh, Legends of the mumble rap era 
shit, nah, not like that. I just mean, who's a rapper from like 2005 <laughs> that everybody who listened to hip hop, like, yeah, he said 10 years from now. Yeah, everybody who listened to hip hop still. Oh, we also forgot to say Playboy Cardi has some thug in it too. Yeah, we're... but we gonna say Young Thug is a uh, is an innovator. Like he's somebody that that had his effect on the game. Like we got Fifty Cent, Lil Wayne, all these people that when they came in, they made changes into the game. I feel like Young Thug is one of those people. You know what's funny? When I first heard just like like Chief Keef or anybody. Like that. When I first heard Young Thug, it was on a Gucci Man song, and I'm like, yo, sound like Lil Wayne. Kinda yeah, but I'm like, yo, this guy's pretty dope. I the, you know me, I'm like, let me put a face to the name. I'm like, oh yeah, he about to be with that gangster music. Mm-hmm. He didn't really have much music except for that 1017 Thug. I was like, that ain't it. I'm like, that's definitely not the person I just saw that picture of. Then you know, a year later, you no, know, like a, like a year or two later, he came out with a was it Slime Season? Was he on the Rich Gang? It was somehow Slime Season. I'm like, this is good, but it's not who I thought he was gonna be. So I don't know he. He kind of changed my changed my image of him because when I seen it, I'm like, "This is a gangster rapper." Yeah. He's a but when I but when I hear him, I'm like, "Yo, this is not who I." He's an ATA. He's an ATL alien, whatever they call it. Yeah, that's why he's an ATA alien, bro. Like, he just he's weird. He's but he's like he's normal at points. It's just he's just all over the place. He 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 has influence with Andre with um, dressing wise, like wearing dresses and stuff. I don't know. Song he did with Erica Badu off of that mixtape yeah. he put out, Can't Use My Phone. Yeah. <coughs> I thought it was Young Thug at first. But it yeah, was, it was mean, Andre. That's another thing. Like, all the like, big artists. Like, I wouldn't say he like, stole like, his flow. Well, Cardi also started using. Uh, yeah, but like, I'm saying, like, oh. real, real legends. Oh. Like, niggas who They like the. Yeah, like, they respect the. He's got fucking support from Andre 3000, who some niggas say might be the greatest rapper ever. He got support from Kanye. He got support from Birdman, who's not a good, like, artist, but he's a good. At finding talent, like exploiting it or whatever. Uh, yeah, he's somebody else too. He get respect from the from, from the, the, the Andres to the Joe Buttons type people, bro. Oh, and did I say Kanye already? I don't, I don't, I don't oh, well, nigga, Kanye love Young Thug. Kanye loves everybody. Like they made a bunch of songs together and shit. He's like, dude, like he put that nigga on his album, which is a little different. Like, oh, he was on the Life of Pablo. Yeah. But yeah, no, nah, I mean, it seemed like a lot of talented people think Young Thug is good. Like, yeah, I feel like in 10, 15 years, niggas gonna be like, well, you like, niggas gonna be like, oh, y'all remember Playboy Cardi or Lil Uzi or something like that? <clears throat> niggas will be like, well, you know, Young Thug was nicer than all of them. Some niggas gonna be like, shut your old head ass up. So we're we gonna put him in the job of the uh, legendary status of mumble rap with Chief Keith? Maybe Lil B? Probably the most talented one, but he ain't like influenced as much as like Chief Keith. <sighs> Man, that was a, that was a pretty good topic. What do y- how do y'all feel about like Baby and Gunna and Saw Baby as the as you know offsprings of uh the <coughs> well well I know Lil Baby was friends with Young Thug when he was just normal like he was friends with like my bad like Coach K and all them before like he even started rapping so I feel like he had no really no choice you know when you just sometimes you can find your own lane when you hang out with some people like like. Let's say Jorge raps, and I'm just I just be there, just chilling. But like, I'm lear- I'm basically I don't know how to rap, but I'm hearing him rap all the time. It's like it reminds me of the game, like you the game, the flow and shit. huh? I said you would take from the flow. Yeah, you'll be like, damn, that's what I hear all the time. Yeah. It's like with the game, he learned, he just started rapping from Nas tracks, different rappers. He started rapping like them. So I feel like when Baby was probably in the studio with Young Thug, he just picked up on that. You know what I mean? Like him and Gunna and all that, and he got locked up for a year or so like that, and came out like I'm gonna be a rapper, bro, and and look at it, you know what I'm saying? So and also I was on that OOK song, which is not on Spotify. Oh yeah, they, it used to be. Everything got taken off. No, no, there's like three I don't know why he took all the uh, the the good thing, like I, the good thing I illegally downloaded it. God damn. Allegedly. It, it, it was a it's a, <coughs> a mixtape. Was it? So why is it not on the Spotify thing? Boy, do you have Spotify? But uh, what I'll say for that this whole thug clone thing, I think Uzi and Saw Baby got some that Gunna and Baby didn't get, and that's like my favorite part of like the reason I fuck with Young Thug. Personality. Yeah, that nigga's like Young Thug is a fucking weirdo. Mm-hmm. 
and he raps about some weird shit that I never hear another nigga like talk about. Like this nigga be saying his money tall like Charlie Sheen, like that nigga not five nine. Yeah. Like bro, that shit don't even make sense. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Sa Baby's weird like that. I think that's why I fuck with him. And, I, and uh, no, I think that's a different metaphor. He uses because Charlie Sheen is like I'm filthy rich or some shit like that. That's I mean, yeah, I know, but still, like on face value, like what <clears throat> nigga? That's, he's not even tall. Yeah. But uh. Yeah, and that Uzi Uzi wear the shit too, and Sa Baby be rapping about like fucking honeybees and shit. So, yeah, no, I think that yeah, Gunna and Baby weird. they got some stuff from him, but not like the good part. That's why I like, like Gunna and Baby, they the ultimate like microwave niggas. Like I like Drip Harder a lot, but I can understand why other niggas would say that it's fucking like trash or that it's mediocre or whatever. <clears throat> and like you say a lot of things about Young Thug, like you say you don't like him, but niggas never say his music's like mediocre. Like niggas either would say it's like. This is real good if I'm a fan or real bad. Like, this nigga's like ruining rap or some shit if I don't like it. But don't nobody ever be like, it's all right. Except for the project that have a like gun and little baby on like every other song. Because well, that's Loki how them niggas are, move. Yeah, that that's, like a, that, that slime was, language that like shit. Thing, yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, nah, I mean, gun and little baby, I don't see them like lasting too long, low key. I mean, they, I'm sure they will because they have like. Not Gunna as much, but Baby got, like, his own fan base, like, independent of Thug. Gunna's really got all his shit from Thug. And I say this about Baby. Gunna's more of, like, a swag rapper. He don't really say much about anything introspective-wise. I mean, I feel like Baby has something, like, because he be kind of, like... He be talking about shit. He talk... Because he been in the streets. So he talk about, like, street things, and some people can relate more to that. And he be making them drug songs, too. Yeah, so I feel like Baby could have a... uh Could last long, and he kind of blew up faster and stuff, so... I don't know, I feel like Baby can be here longer than Gunna. Yeah, but I feel like Baby could be here longer. But hey, Gunna, making moves, man. He got a song with Mariah, things like that. So, Yeah, so I feel like... Hey, I forgot to tell y'all, that Drip Season that drip season 3 is hitting a little harder. Yeah, <coughs> Drip Season 3, bro, it, it's a good tape, man. I like that a lot. Even though Spotify's missing like three tracks on it, but you know, mm -hmm. I got it in my car, so I don't care. But yeah. You ain't getting the plays, Gunna. But I know, I know Shaq's a little Uzi fan. You don't feel that Uzi a little spin off of Young Thug? Yeah. What about Gunna? What about uh, Dr. Lee or something like that? He literally sounds just like Thug. Uh, no. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's just what I'm saying. Yeah, that's 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 what I'm saying. Y
made his own music and it was super fire. I feel like Sway Lee could like when he get older, like in his thirties. I think he'll develop his voice more. I think he might not saying soulful wise it sound like Ty Dollar Signs. I feel like he can have it. He can have he could be on that Ty Dollar Sign wave. Like when he get a little older and experience. Why is Ty Dollar Sign so godly? <coughs> God. God. So, I think so. Um, I don't know, bro. Swelly's a good. I just think like he's in the wrong. He focuses on the wrong genre, basically. Like hip hop is his thing, but like, I feel like he stands more out in pop type shit. You know what I'm saying? <coughs> like pop hip hop shit. I feel like he sounds good if you get him on the right. Like when Travis put him on Nightcrawler. Yeah. Hard. But you have to have like the right melodic when he was, niggas. When he was with Ray Shrimmer, like all together when they was making songs like yeah. Power Glide, hard. Yeah. Dude, he's talented, bro. I like, I like he is talented, bro. I feel like he can last long too, bro. I just feel like I'm like I don't know, bro. I, I'll say I feel like he should be just more of a hip hop pop nigga, like post. Basically, yeah. Do you feel like he he might be another Post Malone? Nah, can't be. Why is Post Malone too wavy? Post Malone's too wavy, bro. Post Malone like <laughs> came out way later than Sway, or like a year later, huh? When they come out, 2013. Two years later. Post Malone came out in 15, yeah. Post, like, took flight, bro. Like, after White Iverson, niggas thought, you know, oh, he a one-hit wonder, you know what I'm saying? Can I ask y'all something? What? Say Post Malone, in a sense, sense, was black, right? When he made White Iverson. When he made Iverson? Iverson. When I was born, I was... No, no, no. Well, that song. But what about it? You know how he transformed over to the pop lane? Are you asking if he was black when he be as famous? Yes, that's exactly what I'm asking. No. No. <coughs> you don't think so? No, because he's a white dude. I feel like because he's white, he's more famous, yeah. Bro, but all the people, bro, I looked at the comments, everybody, not everybody, but literally like 90% of the people thought he was black. And he has like 680 million views. When I first heard it, I didn't know, so I could see. Tell the song. I, I yeah, I thought it was a black dude. <coughs> I thought he was black. I thought it's it was just white like a the song. song said white Iverson. The, the song was super wavy, Iverson. bro, and that's like what put me on that shit, bro. And just like the vibes you got from that, and I mean that's the reason I like the song, bro. And I feel like that's you know ninety yeah, like percent like of the reason. No, I was just asking, would he be as big? I as feel he like he would. I don't feel I like pro- okay. I, I ain't gonna say as big, but he still would be a big, you know. Yeah, I feel like he'd probably be like a Kurt Cobain right now. Do we really include him in hip hop? Nah, nigga. I feel like I feel <laughs> he said like a Kurt Cobain. If Post Malone was black, he'd have felt feeling like a, he would have had that one little hit and nobody else would really care. Bro, all his songs been hitting though. Huh? Damn near. I'm talking about Kirk Cobain. Oh. I'm talking about if he was black. I'm telling you that. Hey, nah. my like, that you said, oh, Kirko or Kurt Co? Kirk Co. Kirk Oh, Houston. Okay. I'm not talking about Kirk Cobain. I was like. Kirk Cobain. No way. No, no. <laughs> That's what I was like, huh? Post Malone would never, bro. Yeah, that's why I'm Ever. saying. I, yeah, that's why I'm talking about hip hop B. Yeah, that's what me. I'm like, man. that's what I'm like. I, I can't think, be in that I think he'll too. make it, bro. You think he would? If he was black, uh, he wouldn't be as big, but he would be big. I, I, black, I think he's gonna be like no Kirko though. Huh? I said if Eminem was black, he wouldn't be as big. He wouldn't. Bro, the end of the day, he's still black. Like, he's the majority of people who listen to rap are white people. So, if when they find somebody who that who's like one of them. It might even be subconsciously, but they gonna push that nigga. Like it's it's <coughs> mad white dudes who be getting more famous than they should. Cause... It's like them YouTubers, boy. They be getting. Hey, I'm trying to save up for a new BMW. Yeah, I mean, like, like the white niggas giving like ten thousand dollars. Nigga, the post Malone had a fucking song yeah. debut at like number two. That's like blacks. We be like the that only nigga, nigga, only black dudes who could do that is like Kendrick and Drake, Drake. and that's it. Like, like even Travis honest, can't do that shit. I'm gonna talk to y'all for a minute. Anybody <laughs> got like a YouTuber they watch on streams and do they ever donate money to them if they black? Do they get donations? Yeah. Well, I'm saying, watch, dude, I'm talking about us. Like, have you ever, like, donated to, like... I don't like, donate. I, I do. I, I donate to, like, the black uh, people I, uh, I watch. Because I, I see that... No, I'm not... <coughs> I, I don't donate, like, 20, like... Like, like no, every month I donate shit. five to, I think, to uh, Modern War Negro and them, or, like, to certain uh, people I like. So it's like, um, I see... Because I see a lot of the white YouTubers... All the support from the little white subscribers they got, they be getting money, bro. So I'm like, I feel like it's like this, bro. If every, let's say every black person, I'm just saying, we pitching up one dollar, like a million dollars. That's a million dollars. Like you don't have to give everything, you just give a little, and that's that's a nice idea. That's bro. that's just how I, <laughs> like, I know it's ideal, 
But not everybody gonna think like that. Hey, but if y'all want to, you know, pitch a dollar in, hit me up, hit the contact up. You know, I'll put that in the, uh, you know, the description. You know what I'm saying? Patreon back. You 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 trying to get a little, trying to get a little clout too, bro? Yeah. All right, okay then. <laughs> okay, we still on music. We know what happened this week. Joiner versus Tory. Niggas, did you even listen to this shit? Yes, yeah. I did that night. You listen? Have y'all listened to ZZ? <coughs> <clears throat> uh, uh, can I tell you? A bit of it. Can I use a uh, Shaq's uh, vocabulary real quick for this ZZ? <gasps> yeah, horrible. See, horrible. like with Jordan, bro, like dude, when he be like doing his disses, bro, like I don't even feel like it be like like super facts or nothing. He just like kind of roasting them. Yeah, yeah, but when fucking Tory did his shit, bring out, yeah, that nigga was bringing. Hey, no, Tory shit. killed him with that. You had a threesome with a pedophile. Yeah, you know, you talked about having a threesome with a dude uh, that's going to court for kid cases and shit. Yeah, yeah that was good, bro. That was good. Uh, you know, what do y'all feel like is the best diss track on all of these? Is bro, it the Lucky Lady, You? Lady? Lucky You's not even a diss track. Lucky You's a, a exhibition. I feel like that was a. I feel like that was a jab. I feel like that was like Drake's nah, first step. Nah, nah. <laughs> and he, if you listen to it, bro, it's just like exhibition showing what he can do. He's just showing him what he can do. Yeah, it's not a so jab at all. He's insane. Yeah, he's it wasn't like, a jab. Jordan threw the first jab, bro. I won't even. He said, "Yo, when I he say he say my lucky you wasn't versus Liddy, my Liddy again was ver- versus yeah. Liddy. So Liddy again was, was a response. Like, lucky, like, he yeah, tell, he ins- he just yeah. He him. wasn't really he was jab. Flows, he wasn't even he jabbing in there. He was on flows, little wait, but then he no, but he said on there he said. He said, "This boy think he got the sauce just because he can rap fast." It's a, I feel like it was a little jab. What do you mean at the end? But he still jabbed him. Nigga, it's still, that's it not still a, song, it's man. not even a subliminal. It's still towards it, him. You gotta think that was towards him still. Towards but him. you gotta think I said it was like Drake's charged up. Was it not? Because Drake no. just threw a little jab at Meek. It's like I, 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 nah. That's why I was I saying, don't feel like because that. you gotta think he literally said he think he can he think he he think he got the sauce just because he can rap fast. Boy, anyone can do that. That's not a real jab though. Jab, I said little jab. Not like, psh. Was that in the song? Like, yes. in the song, like a bar. He said that in the song. I think he said that at the end. Like, the very last words. I think, no, like, it was in the, the track itself, but I don't think he rapped it. He said, he, this boy think he got the song just because he could rap fast. I still don't he feel He said like anyone could do jab. that. <coughs> I don't feel like it's a jab, bro. I feel like when Witcher Carla threw his diss, that was a real diss. Who, Joyner? Yeah, so that's yeah, when Joyner the round started. So Joyner took, he started the round, and then Tory responded with his Liddy again, and Tory demolished. Hey, is this the fastest him. that we've gotten, like, diss tracks? Is this the fastest we got diss tracks? <coughs> I don't like, feel back like, to like back. a battle. Yeah. Nah, it ain't the, I mean, we got stuff in weeks. I mean, in um, 24 hours of tour, it's going to be. No, bro, bro Tory we, literally get like, Liddy. Bro, bro, in the span of two days. I don't think so. In the span of like two or three days, we got, we got four, four tracks. tracks. Yeah, I don't, I don't still think two from each side. That's forty-eight hours, nigga. I'm just saying, I don't think that's the fastest. I'm pretty sure fastest mainstream. How about that? Probably not mainstream. I think it's fastest. I think it's fastest. Oh. I, I don't have to. I don't have it in my. I don't mind. think I'm we just have, bro. I'm just saying. Uh, Jorge, what you think about this whole beef? Man, fuck that. <laughs> Why? The niggas is friendly and shit. I don't like that. You want them to have street beef? No, but don't be cool. Don't be calling each other on IG Live. That's some weird shit. Like, this nigga just said you might be a pedophile because you fucking niggas who fuck kids. And now y'all laughing together and, like, kissing Bro, cause each other. That that's like, that's like me roasting you and then not talking to you after because yeah, like you're supposed that. to be mad at me. No. Exactly, nigga. It's a friendly-ass roast. I don't want to watch that shit. If I'm going to watch a roast video, them niggas better actually be upset with each other. Boy. What, like, what about when that <laughs> work tries to roast you? We we know who. Talking about Tyson? Yeah. All right, bro. Tyson, no, he don't want that shit. So. <laughs> he don't want to smoke, bro. If not, he'll say it to me. You gotta get on that nigga, bro. He be throwing jabs with you. Bro. Yeah, that nigga be calling me father when he see me. He know what's up. Well, he be throwing jabs with you. I don't know. That's what he had to say. He always said it, man. You know what I <laughs> mean? But uh, <laughs> what I feel up? Hey, all I know I is, can see wait, you. All right, here you go. All I know is I got my fucking ears pierced, and like that nigga was on my head. Two days later, I walked through the door. This nigga got some fake earrings on. That nigga, <laughs> that nigga, my son, and he know it. It's cool. Wait, it's hey, good. go check out Tyson under the hood on IG though. We shout out our people. Hey, hey, hey check out that uncivil. Support black business. Bro. <coughs> mm-hmm. 
Hey, get you some mufflers, dog. You should have had them on sale. Get you a bumper, my nigga. You know what I mean? <laughs> he got all the bumpers. <laughs> but um, what I think about, I feel like Tori makes better better songs than Jonah. And Jonah kind of goes off like on a little tangent. Like, it'd be like little pointless stuff. Like, what he did on ZZ, just saying little stupid stuff. I'm like, yeah, I didn't want to hear I was hear like, that that's whack, bro. Tori was kind of saying like some. What? Everything what Tori was saying was like kind of like fits together. Like, what you mean? Like the barber thing. Shit, the Harvard, huh? be smart like a Harvard nigga. Be smart like a Harvard. That was lame, bro. That was a lame bar. Be smart like a Harvard. That was the only weak bar. That was the only weak bar. He said something with the boat with the Harvard. Some other shit. He said something with the uh. He said something with the boat when you get a Harvard nigga, or whatever. But it's like I guess he was just trying to make a rhyme. But that's I'm not talking about that. I was talking about when Joyner was doing the little baby. The I'm your daddy. Go ahead and do this and do that. Oh, yeah. and then that. I was saying Tori when he did that. He sounds the same on yeah. every single track that he gets. On. Like when Tori was talking about like his dad being having a fail in the music career and saying this. That's what I was saying. Like that was kind of dope. Like I'm saying I like how he did that. I think I was then watching. The, I think I was watching uh, Sean C. He was like, he was like, it shouldn't be the way where uh, we hope to hear you on someone else's track rather than hear your own tracks. Right. I'm like, dang. Dang, I I didn't even I didn't even know Lucky You was one of his songs. Well, it's Eminem. Mm-hmm. Well, whose song is it? Hey, Jordan Lucas. Song. Oh, I didn't know. <clears throat> it's just Logic. If Logic looked like a black person, but he also can't rap better than that nigga either, or make better albums. I think Logic might can watch. From yeah, seeing this, bro, Logic, I, Logic might get that boy. Cause first I thought Jordan went better. That, that, that honey, the honey bar, whatever shit he did with Wale. Oh yeah, that nigga was rapping fast and like actually talking. This nigga Jonah Lucas was like, but the but the this nigga was talking about fucking tilapias and shit. I was like, what? Yeah, he don't be saying nothing. Like while they was got in his little thing, he was start rapping a little fast and stuff. Jonah Lucas could probably get out rap by Hobson, no bullshit. Yeah, Hobson was corny as hell. But anyway, how you start a beef with Logic? Like like Logic, I like Logic, but that nigga corny as shit. Why do you want to beef with him to make it like you know niggas think you're corny too? So why would you want to beef with another corny nigga when it's not gonna look good for either of y'all? And then lose too. Hey, who is the like? Oh, let me let me think. I got I thought of something. The only cool like laid back like not corny mixed rapper is Honey J Cole, bro. Everybody yeah, other, corny. huh? <laughs> no, I'm just saying like he the least corny out of all mixed rappers, bro. You think he's less corny than Drake? Yeah. Drake's corny. You see, Drake had to buy this bitch like a fifty thousand dollar ring so she'll let him fuck or something like yeah, that. Yeah, Drake. Uh-huh. Is, it was like James Harden X. She he made she made him buy him like her a bunch of shit for she was going. Cause like, all right, Drake now like Drake from okay, t- see how they twenty fifteen Drake twenty eighteen Drake he still have corny moments but like Drake was mad corny when he came out bro like if you just read his watch his interviews like. Drake was mad corny, bro. I mean, there was that time he was talking about Wayne and he started, like, moaning and shit. He called him a nigger. Nah, he ain't sick. Huh? <coughs> he was like, Lil Wayne, he's just so, ooh, he's just so... I remember that. Ah, yeah, I remember that. And then when he pulled out the cell phone, <laughs> I got him flex. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> when he was talking like that. Whack. That boy was so corny, bro. So, yeah, we don't got no... Un- Oh, who's the coolest mixed rapper? J. Cole. I'm trying to look for some mixed yeah, rappers right now. I'm telling you, he's the least corny one. Like, I like Logic. He's corny as shit. He's corny. Oh, this is mad corny. Super corny. Uh, fucking, what's his name? P. Diddy's son that rap? Like, Ooh. the mixed one? He's not he's mixed. He's born in, black. The one that was in Dope? That nigga's black? Who is P. Diddy's? Who's or one? not yet. A dude from Dope. The brother of, like, uh, Chanel and Mom. Chris <laughs> Brown is black. I'll be sure his dad. He's black. His mom's black. Yeah, I'll be sure mixed. He's mixed. That nigga trash. I'll be sure not mixed. Yes, he is. Is he mixed? You said Russell Wilson wasn't mixed either. He's not but mixed. But his mom cheated on his dad. Boy, he looked just like his dad. He looked like Sean King. Man, shut up. <laughs> you look hey, like Sean King with braids. Sean King, by the way. Yeah, F Sean King. Oh, that nigga's a cool. Ass nigga. I don't even think that nigga black, bro. But right hey, he not. Yeah. They got him on tape, like, admitting that he doesn't know for sure and that, that this white dude who... Dad is probably dead. Yeah, and then they got a tape of Fade trying to be all cool. <laughs> I don't know. I'm looking up all the rappers, man. It's, that's mixed? Yeah, most of them was mixed with like Puerto Rican or like Hispanic. Yeah, we don't count that. No, I know. That's, that's, what I'm 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 there's, there's, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. There's there's no others. I mean, who's the corniest black rapper? Besides Bum B. Hobson. Hey, Bum B ain't no Hobson cool. is the corniest black <laughs> rapper, bro. Yeah. I'd have to give him that. He's super corny. <laughs> Uh, okay, you, you you had this topic on the uh, on this uh, on the notes. Best remix rapper. 
Since we was talking oh. about Joiner, you know, gets on remixes and stuff like that. Well, not remixes, but he remakes the song. You know, I, I just said that <coughs> Lil Wayne's probably still like the consensus number one remix rapper, but I think Tory's like climbing up like the list. Like he probably like three or four right now for me. What about Pat Poos? Who? Pat Poos. Man, fuck that. You know man. when you're off the Remy, that's what you gotta do. He yeah, that's why that, tell me that today? He that's why I'm off a little Remy. That's why that song with I fucking Papoose. He mentioned Papoose bigger than any song Papoose ever been on. But uh God. Uh he fuck. He just said that. Shit. Um <coughs> Yeah, no, nah, I mean Tori, he he's up there now for me. Like he's done a bunch of like dope ass remixes. But I mean, yeah, that was all I had. Like I can't even really think of like other remix rappers I really like. like I guess Fab maybe. Maybe T Pain. Yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, niggas don't really be doing that as much now besides, like, SoundCloud rappers and shit. But, yeah, no, I mean, Tori's probably, like, three, maybe two for me. Because, I mean, Wayne probably going to be one, like, forever. But I don't know. Dang, who really does have good remixes? You know, I was thinking about it just <coughs> now. I can't really think of anybody. But you're talking about, like, where they remake the whole song or they come on as just a feature? They could re- either or. Remix the whole either song. Or. I feel like it was 08 would have, like, a bigger... 08, 09, 2000. Yeah, because that was when... Because it was more, like, running out of mixtape era then. But, I mean, yeah, no, nah, I mean... Like, Tory probably not gonna pass Wayne because we talked about it a couple weeks ago. This nigga Kanye, who's my favorite rapper, did a remix of Lollipop and he said he was gonna <coughs> let Wayne kill him and then Wayne came and, like, killed that nigga again. That was one of the liveest things I ever heard. How do you feel about this, Shaq? That's the true Wayne. About what? You know, who makes the best remixes in hip-hop and stuff like that? Who's the best remix rapper? It is Wayne. Wayne. Yeah. It's Wayne. Who else do on the... Oh. A lot of rappers did it. Hey, well, listen. Wayne is the GOAT, but Montana 300, go to, bro. What about your favorite rapper, uh, Sauce Walker? Sauce Walker go ham on it, too. Why are you laughing, nigga? Sauce Walker be freestyling <coughs> Yeah, like he has Sorry for the Sauce uh, oh, mixtapes. Yeah, he has four of them right now. He remade Uchi Wally too. That shit was hard. Yeah, Uchi Wally was hard. And he did uh, Sauce of Belly. Hard. Uh, him and him had some good ones. Oh, I just can't. I what can't about fuck Drake? With Eminem, bro. Who? Drake. Drake did a couple. Uh, let's talk about the best one. <clears throat> Chameleon Air. Barry Bonds, yeah, Versace, Versace. Versace. Hey, Chameleon is hard. I don't know what you're talking about. Bro, can't, can't you test for me, bro? Chameleon oh, yeah, is no. hard. Yeah, no, I had never heard any of your songs. So I'm riding dirty. Next, Mike Jones, Chase put me on that shit. That nigga pretty old. Yeah, he can rap. What about he has a whole mixtape series that's on Spotify. What about your other favorite rapper, Mike Jones? Boy, you mean me and Uzi's favorite rapper? Who? Boy, what what remix did he hop on? Who? Like Mike Jones. Jones. Nah, yeah, the yeah. only remix he looked but Still hopped on. Like four no, nah, that's his song. But he was on uh, I mean, Draped Up. He was on Draped Up. Remix. And now, uh, you know who got some good remixes, though? Who? Cool. Right, Jay Dow, the Young Hulk. Hey, uh, behind it. Bro, the, uh, buy you a drink? What? You don't like Jay Dow, bro? Hey, behind the tents, bro. Behind the tents, buying one and two. And he did, uh, he made remixed the Umbrella song. I fucked with Oh, that wait. Song. I forgot another one. Slim Thug. Which one? The DJ drama tape he had? Lil Kiki had? Fish Grease? No. Uh, Love by Few, Hated by Many. Nah, that ain't Oh. Minor setback for a major comeback. That was the best. <laughs> That's the one with Kiki. That's the money in the bank. That was a real time. Yeah, oh, he was remixing all the time. He had a drama I don't, tape. I don't remember which you one. You know, Kiki had a drama tape, bro? I should have. DJ yeah. Drama? He had a drama tape. Gangsta Grill. Like, I Kiki know used to be that nigga, bro. He, nah, Kiki was that nigga for sure. Yeah, for sure. Man. Damn. Kiki had that gangsta Grill. I'm going to have to be on my nostalgia shit. Even yeah, though I didn't hear it, I got to go back. I that pimp, bro. It was. Yeah, that pimp had everything, bro. Tell me. Ooh, that's it. What's up, man? I'm trying Damn. to look it up. There ain't no more rappers I can think of. Damn. <laughs> but all right. King of remixes? Yeah. I think Lil Wayne has to take that time. Cassidy used to be on the track, bro. Nah. Oh. Hey, they'll apply yeah, pressure? Hey, they'll apply pressure. Hey, Cassidy. <laughs> nah, you put me on them. Hey, I put you on them? I, yeah. yeah. Hey, he was dope back then. They'll apply pressure I, one and two? Hey, hey he's a, I keep the 
What do you say? I keep the pipe like Mario. Mamma Mia. Yeah. <laughs> Boy! <laughs> That's what huh? But he went on that Wolf freestyle? Damn. Damn. Cassidy was going to my hotel. You know what I mean? Oh, he had yeah, to go down yeah, there, R. Kelly, the Pop Piper. You know what I mean? Yeah, they call me. Relax. <laughs> the pop pipe over. The leader? <laughs> hey, hey. So I'm like, with them. Hey, like, hey, yo. Hey, he's uh, not forcing them to do anything, but I guess they will. Oh, yeah, Ooh. peeing on a uh, little girl, too? Oh, no, man. Yeah, okay. I mean, uh, the earth is already doing that because, you know, nah, with, evapora- with, with the evaporated, with the what evaporated. The I'm talking about okay, think you. about it like this. Think about it like this. We all pee outside, right? Okay, no, we, no, 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 no. Earth, we, all right. we all pee outside, right? We all pee outside, right? Therefore, it gets evaporated pee. into the air. That pee has to come right back down. Hey, bro. So we all been if peed on. Class, We've all, all been peed on. The last time I peed outside was maybe earlier this year. We was somewhere. Not us. I was with somewhere. So with someone. But yeah. Uh. Y'all want to talk about six nine or no? Nah. Yeah. What? Why, Why bro? bro? You and me used to probably like one of the biggest niggas out. Yeah, yeah. Like, don't nobody in here really like his music or him. <laughs> but oh, I God. mean, I mean, yeah, no. Nah, uh, niggas gonna learn to like stop <laughs> playing around with the fucking rap police one of these days. Yeah. Like niggas gonna learn how to comport That's themselves. That's what you get for claiming their damn game, right? fucking social media and shit. Oh, Did you get, pay to get in that game? Yeah, yeah. today they found out. Pay the time. Today hey, they found out his say, manager stole like uh, the, two. Uh, wait, hold on, Shay. How much is that? They said his manager stole two point two million dollars from him. And then they just asked for two hundred. <laughs> that nigga from Treyway, but hey, they just asked for some joke, more. They and they found out they said it was gonna kill him. Like you heard that? Yeah, you heard that joke they said about it. He tried to put his uh, his two week notice in with the bloods. Oh yeah, they said the they said his bail was so high that he like offered all the money in his bank account, which was like one point seven million dollars, and the judge was like, "No, that's all he had." In the what do you mean that's all he had? I threw three uh, three bank accounts. Let me see. And and on top of that, bro, the the, uh, same, the manager's trying to get eight hundred and sixty out of it. He was extorted, bro. Like, look, you got uh, look how expensive that be, bro. Like, he had to have top security everywhere he went because people wanted to kill him. Did you see that That's video money, where he had all the all security around him? He was break dancing. Yeah. Boy! It's so, is that, so, much, so much money, man. But, like, I don't wish... I'm not one of the guys that wish, you know... Uh, death upon others? Not death. I don't want oh, jail, jail time or anybody. Damn, so yeah. you wish death upon somebody? Else? If somebody that done something that I don't like. You killed my cousin or something, nigga. I want you dead. I ain't, I'm a hypocrite. I want them to that. suffer. Go to jail. So, but when it comes to, like... No, if you kill somebody in my family, I want you dead. I don't want you to go to jail. But I don't, you know what I mean? Jail is horrible. You know what I mean? I was locked up, you know what I mean? For like, never. <laughs> but yeah, but he is locked in the jail. No, you is. It's called it's this called, room. No, it's called the phase. <laughs> <laughs> phase uh, prison. Oh, no, the phase zone. Oh, phase like, prison like the dark you. zone. <laughs> Y'all are bugging. You <laughs> see, don't have me in jail. Y'all are kidding me, bro. Chill. <laughs> Hey, B, when you gonna get out? When you get on parole? <laughs> <laughs> hey. He's on parole right now. <laughs> Anyways, we gotta skip it for that. <laughs> and, uh, hey, that was kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. <laughs> so, what else? Um, y'all wanna get into the live stuff or y'all wanna get into some anime stuff? I wanna get into... Uh... Which one y'all want? <laughs> huh? The eats. <laughs> boy, you want to get into bro. some meat? Let's do this to anime. Bro, you gay, bro. Bro, I'll be like, like sandwich, bro. I'll be like sandwich, bro. Hey, on. this whole gang got a problem with saying some gay shit. I don't know what happened. Listen, like I said, hey, no offense to gay people, bro. <laughs> what has gotten into y'all niggas, bro? Huh? Boy, like, who's got huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. Bro, bro, bro. Hey, listen, this podcast is over. Thank y'all for joining uh, Fag TV. Oh, oh hey, bro. hey, I'll just say, hey, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. No, y'all. he said he's sorry. No, 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 no God forgive me. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm just playing say, with y'all. Hey. Like I said, no offense yeah. towards, you know. The homosexual. You feel me? Yeah, I got, I, got, I got some friends on that tip. You know what yeah. I'm saying? On that tip. All right, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see. All right, bro. So, what's on the anime? Uh, what we what we got on the anime? You know, what what makes mean? a good anime main character. Oh yeah, I'm gonna talk about that. Um, Who wants to start off? You or Jorge? Mm, I can start. You start, Jorge. Yeah. A line rate. I'm gonna bad. start by like listing some of the ones like things that make them bad. 
So niggas know not to do that. Like Alright, cry babies. Niggas who cry too much sometimes. Uh I still fuck with Deku though. Cause his motive his motivations is cool. But yeah, like like fucking uh Luffy and them. Luffy don't cry. Nigga, have you seen niggas, this nigga cry like twenty times? When? Ace died. Uh, that shit with Sabo. That shit with White. He cried like four times. Like, he cried like four times right, during Marine on. for it. Nigga, I ain't doing. Hey, I'm not. We, nah, we go argue about that later. Nah, bro, you can't get on my show like that, nigga. Nigga, nah, I, bro, I got more to say about that bum ass nigga. But anyway, yeah, uh, nigga, right. you can't have you can't have motivations that's like not really like done well. You know what I'm talking? You know what I'm saying? Like. Yeah. If your if your MC has no good motivations, it just makes the show stupid. Like fucking Ichigo and Bleach. <coughs> uh-huh, yeah. His whole his whole point was sure. he ain't really have no story. Right. Yeah, you want to go? Yeah, I want to go. Here you bitch. go, bitch. Give me this fucking microphone, <laughs> bro. Uh-oh. So you telling me if you saw your long lost brother, you ain't gonna cry? I don't give a fuck. You said you huh? don't cry. If your hey, if your brother died in front of you, you're not gonna cry. Hey, Shaq, can I tell you something? You said you don't like niggas who cry. I said a nigga who cry. I ain't gotta explain why. He All right, but no, but that's a good my, reason, bro. Job. They gotta have good reason for crying oh, though. Never who? Cried like who? The, Goku never cried. Goku, Goku didn't cry. He went even Super def- Saiyan. Nigga, it. Goku definitely did cry. <laughs> Man, nigga, he cried as a fucking kid when what's his name? Not count him as a baby. Goku, what? not as a baby, nigga. I'm talking nigga, about you when said he was, Goku, when bro, he was he a kid in Dragon Ball. He cried a lot. He didn't cry a lot. He cried a couple. Times. I told him he was whining. Nah, I'm running with a go- baby. Nigga, that all right, all right, okay. You a fucking baby. Though. All right, so if they have a good <laughs> reason for crying, does it matter? If there's a lot of reasons. Nah, I feel like I feel like uh, Deku's a fucking crybaby. Yeah, he cries for no Luffy, reason. I don't know. Nothing but I feel like he didn't cry that much just last season. He did. It it's just, bro, that whole that first. Season, I feel like that's just a trope. The that first season gonna caught like going like follow that nigga for a long time. Yeah. yeah. Like, niggas still think he bitch like he not piecing niggas up now. <laughs> Wait, is the first season really big ass? Yes. <clears throat> it's, it is? Shut up. Nah, I mean, it, it was, was gas. Cool. You haven't even watched It was gas. I'm sorry, yeah, bro. you haven't, bro. I'm you sorry. Tripping, hey, Gone don't cry. Look, bro. I just got to chapter four and oh, read yeah, their Gone redemption. Gone's a shitty MC, by the way. But, uh, Gun cop car at the end. Bro, Gone, like, he like the third best MC in his own show. Because fucking Karapika and Killua both got, like, Better motivations. They cooler. They don't wear booty shorts. Huh? All of that. They <laughs> but they're not booty shorts to gun when it's I don't kid, give though. a fuck, nigga. He's like 12. <laughs> that shit's three hey, inches nah, I, I like the hey, Jump hey, Force Oh, uh, hey. hey, niggas it's talking about sauce high. and drip and shit on Twitter about anime. That shit is stupid, but. Yeah, they got to Nah, you. Up? Nah, Goku and Vegeta got in this bro. Shut up, bro. bro. Ain't nothing wrong with, like, I, I do like an MC who, like, kind of clean, though. Like, go wearing booty shorts. That's why I don't respect that nigga. Bro, the nigga's 12. Bro, bro, what about you, bro? Bro, he, bro, he, he ages himself. That has no... Nigga, but... Killer will be out here fucking basketball. All right, so you're t- so like, you telling me if Killer Wall grew himself like Gon did, he ain't gonna have no booty shorts I'm on. I'm talking about Gon in his normal form. <laughs> nigga, look at Gon and... that nigga wearing a fucking girl... Bro, they go he's up to a, here, he's bro. Whoa. a girl school uniform. Bro, wow. A, a fucking muscle shirt and some green shorts, yeah, my nigga? Yeah, fag. I don't <laughs> you bitch, bro. But uh, hey, we need to be praising Manetta first of all. Hey, Manetta should be the main character. Yeah, they should, bro. Hey, Manetta should, bro. But yeah, nah. Like the thing I said about motivations, that's probably my main problem with like a lot of anime MC, like especially Ichigo and like Excuse a me. lot of niggas like that. Like they don't really want to be in the story. They just in the story. Like Ichigo's story is. I don't want to fight niggas. Oh shit, they kidnapped my girl. Let me go save fight, somebody. Man. Oh no, they kidnapped my best friend. Let me go fight these niggas. Oh no, they finna kill everybody. Let me go like he never wanted to be in his own story. That nigga just wanted to go home and chill. Mm-hmm. Which is why he, that's wasn't that, shit, he, he wasn't that interested in me. I mean he, Ichigo only cool because that nigga cool. Like Ichigo cool. He's not even that cool. He's <coughs> lying to me. Relax. He was fucking corn he was chopping corn niggas ball, up. Nigga. He was chopping niggas up corn ball. sandals. Like a god. Cornball. I didn't. I didn't watch Bleach. Hey, hey! Oh, they all show their toes, boy. So this is what we gonna get into. I'm gonna. I'm gonna tell you what I like about a main character. What brings a, what shows me a yeah, main, a main character, a oh, man, mm-hmm. huh? or oh, a main character. You don't like women main characters? It's not too many women main characters, women? anime. I used yeah, to watch as a kid. I say it's not that many. I think it's like a million. Not like in a big. I'm talking about big. He's that's a that's a that's a guy. Main character is that Kikio bitch. Nah, Kikio is Kikio is kind of the main character, but she's not. It's called Inuasha. Nigga, that's 
thinking it's like episodes where it's only it's called uh, yeah in this episode so right. yeah, yeah and they, they do he actually got fucking caddies that nigga gross it's in you watch it so i don't care i don't care what and you watch is not that great of a show i just watched it growing up i watched it uh i still watch it it's like you know what i mean Oh, Just like Goku, like, huh? You don't like Dragon Ball Z then? The fusion? Nigga, I love Dragon Ball Z. You wearing earrings right now, nigga. Hey, nigga y'all, never, y'all ever seen like a bitch who was so thick that like you called up your homies and told them maybe y'all could like fuse y'all meats together to take her on? Boy. I thought I was the only one that Back thought up, that. Bro. Back me up. Y'all niggas get Nah, bro. I said that as a joke and you and Tevin failed. Shaq passed. All right, here we go. Um, I think I like a lot of... Uh, I like... First of all, if I like good character development. First, I want to see like his... I want his ideals and like his drive like what makes them him or her like what makes them uh what they're achieving like <laughs> bringing me in it's like how i love batman i like a, why he's a, example? Give us an example. a good example of a, a good character to me like is light yagami you know what i mean because i feel like light he was he was like this smart kid right and then he he, he like when you first you don't get too much into him when the first episode but you see that he was smart bro but it's like he just chill but when he see he had that power bro and then you like damn i like this nigga or do i dislike this nigga because he's like he's killing people but he's killing bad people but then you see he how he takes the power that have you conflicted like liking a bad character Wait, what you cheering for your light or your light hey real nigga me too you don't yeah I, I was i was everybody else want that bitch ass nigga yeah yeah, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was cheering for light. Yeah. He had no shoes on. Nigga was like this in that bitch. In candy and shit. Yeah. But yeah, what I, like I watched Death Note when I was. But yeah, I watched Death Note. I think when I was like in middle school, and they like kind of like I think that was the first animator kind of made me feel that way. Like, dang, I'm kind of rooting for the, this main character is like he's evil and he's good at the same time like he's doing these bad things he's but you rooting for him you just you want him to win and something like that uh writing like that with a character that was something new to me so when you show me something new in your main character that really uh brings i could show that's that's a good character and look light still is a classic character bro so he made people around him look fuck, like idiots is he your favorite Nah, he's not my favorite main character. The crazy thing is, I could probably, I think my favorite character in an anime isn't a main character, so it's kind of like. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, so it's like, yeah, so it's like. Uh, hey, that's a good question. Are there any animes where like? I said the probably. Main character is actually your favorite character. Like for me, the only one I can think of is like Dragon Ball. Z. Probably Goku, you, 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 Hakusho, uh, you, you is my like, favorite. Naruto more than like Itachi and Sasuke and yes, Pain yeah. and all. Bro, you not even in my top. Yusuke is my favorite character in Yu Hakusho. Nah, I fuck with Hie. I do, but I know he ain't like it. I know he like the edgy nigga, like he like the Vegeta type, but nah, I still fuck with him. But uh, Kurama, that nigga. Yeah, no, like Kurama. Yusuke. Actually, yeah, Kurama probably my favorite character. Yusuke is like Kurama from yeah. Naruto? No, Kurama Yusuke? from uh, no, fuck that nigga. I'm talking about Kurama from Yu Hakusho. Uh, what about Gun? I mean, uh, what you call it? Oh, Hunter Hunter, my favorite character is fuck, <laughs> fucking uh. It could be Caprica or it's, Kill yeah, it's probably Karapika. <laughs> I don't no, count him. When you think of uh, Yusuke, though, he's he's a different main shonen character, like earlier, because like he's cocky he he now. has the like, Ichigo I, I shit too. He got the same like I think the nigga who made Bleach probably seen that and he was like I want to make my nigga like that too. That's what I thought too. Yeah, Ichigo. I mean not Ichigo. Yusuke, Yusuke wasn't even trying to really fight niggas yeah. until they was like all right, fight these niggas or the world going in. That's why I like. But uh, I mean, if I'm thinking like about it, go, like a lot of my I favorite. Like, a lot of my favorite characters in like series and shit, they don't be the main characters. Like My Hero Academia, my favorite character, probably that Hawks nigga, which he not in the show. Oh, yet. oh and actually no, it's that nigga, uh, fucking Muriel. That nigga guy. Oh, I like Muriel. Karapika has like one of the best like storylines, bro. Hey, yeah, Karapika. His whole people, bro. Karapika on his own. That's the that's the strength that nigga from Hunter Hunter got, I think. Cause he did that with Yu Hakusho. Like he made a show where like. It was like four or five characters in both them shows that they could be main characters of their own stories. But yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, like My Hero Academia is not Deku. Even though I fuck with Deku. Oh, shit, that's that's my favorite Hunter Hunter character. Yeah, I'm tripping. I said, he's that nigga. What are you talking about? 
Hunter Hunter. Wait, no, no, I'm tripping. My favorite Hunter Hunter character is Hiska. But anyway, uh, Hiska. I don't know. I think he just funny to me. Oh yeah, he married to a killer brother. Boy, no, he's not. Yeah, he is. Them niggas, them niggas, them niggas, like, bro, that nigga, bro, you know how live that nigga is. That, bro, they, nigga, they, bro, they made a fucking pedophile to like a character. That niggas was like, yeah, nah, I fuck with this nigga. Shit, nigga, if I had some bungee gum, I'd get up some real bad shit. What are you doing with that? Robberies, probably, but uh, oh, it's it's it keeps you like stuck in place and shit. But uh, yeah, like in Bleach, my favorite character was that nigga Grimjow, or like in fucking uh, Naruto, my favorite character was probably Pain. In One Piece, my favorite character was that nigga Ace. Pain or the person or uh. He's talking, well, I mean Pain slash Nagato. I fuck with Nagato. That nigga was. I like Nagato when he was a Yahiko's body. Wow, but you want to oh, throw you want to throw, you wanna throw a pause after that shit, big fella? No, man, keep resuming. All right, wow. But uh, I mean, I know nobody here probably seen Fairy Tale, but in Fairy Tale, <laughs> my favorite character was this nigga who's barely in a story. Nah, I fuck with him though. He one of the better ones to me, just cause that nigga funny. What about happy, hey, happy to go. But uh, yeah, yeah no, I mean, yeah, if I had to pick an anime where like my favorite character is actually the main character, it'd probably be Dragon Ball. Do y'all have any, or do y'all like usually fuck with the main characters? <coughs> hey, Luffy the goat. I'm, he's probably my least favorite straw head Besides uh, like Nami and him What? Cause Nami Luffy don't be doing shit nah, Nigga I, I just know. fuck with Zoro more And Sanji too Why? Cause Sanji a real <laughs> nigga He out here to get some cheeks And that's it Boy He got sent to Man Island boy He got yeah, cheeks, the cheeks ran He probably had a good time Hey he was acting like a bitch uh, For a little bit too Until he got that newspaper Hey My favorite character from One Piece And he's like what the fuck nigga, My favorite story? character from One Piece is Ace Nigga Sanji is a bitch Why? Why? Hey, nah, Ace the Go. Ace the Go, but why? Why? Because when I first watched One Piece and I saw that he had fire problems, I'm like, yo, he's dope. And like, he just seemed more powerful than everybody. But when I played the game, and I saw his story of when he died or whatever, I'm like, yo, he's a guy. What game? The, uh, the, Ace, the, the battle. Instead of Ace in a hole. The game that's on PS4. I had it for like a day or two. Oh, I don't know the name of it. Uh, the one, it came out like last year. Like a year or two, Fire bro. <laughs> well, yeah, Chase, do you have any idea where the main favorite. character is actually your favorite character? Duh. Like Shaman King? I mean, maybe. Shaman King, the only nigga I really like that show. Oh, fuck, I forgot. Yu-Gi-Oh, I mean, too, actually. I like Yami. I fuck with that nigga. Yeah, Pokemon? that nigga to go. Pokemon, I like, uh, I like Charizard. The fuck ass. But my favorite Pokemon is Typhlosion. Bro, I heard Chase's favorite Pokemon character is Misty character. when she was still like a little kid. Mine. Boy! Bro, you said she was... Well, when it comes to the anime that's the first, I mean, it's the main character that's my favorite, it's probably is Yusuke. When it comes to a character that's not the main, it's a, it's, a, it's an anime called Monster. I don't know if y'all are familiar with it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but like... Nigga, your favorite character not Dr. Tamba? Nah, it's not. It's, not you know, I like Johan, bro. Because that nigga... Look, this way. You like the villains? Yeah, I like the villain. <laughs> because yeah, that's he's dope. Villain. Because I just like the aspect of, like, the doctor... Saving him instead of the sister, and he ended up being the serial killer. Like, it's just super dope. Like, damn, I killed the wrong one. But, like, he was just really smart and melodical and shit. Like, he's been, he was like ahead of them, and I, I just like that type of stuff. It got me, like, catch me if you can type of vibes. It's like one of my, like, favorite movies if it comes to, like, trying to find somebody. You know what I mean? So, yeah. My favorite, I, I realize I have a favorite uh, character from an anime that's, like, the main character Spike. Who? Spike from uh, Cowboy Bebop. He's my favorite character. Fucking ass boy. What? What? He's like, what? One of the Everybody best characters on there. But, I mean, I, I listed one. I like, like, my favorite character from Dragon Ball Z is Bardock. How? Yeah, well, Bebop is overrated. Yeah. That nigga's in fucking one. I mean, Bardock Still a goat, though. He's my favorite character. Hey, let's not forget uh, my nigga Kaneki from Tokyo Ghoul. OP. Oh, yeah, no. I see the Popo film. Uh, really my favorite nigga in that show though Y'all don't like uh, the, the, the girl I don't like him oh, yeah. I don't like him no. Y'all don't like that uh, What's his name? Ed? Who's Ed? Uh, oh The main character from Full Metal Alchemist Yeah I fuck with Ed That nigga oh, that's his name. Hey bro Ed, Ed, Ed the GOAT But he, he got another problem I don't like MCs Who don't be winning fights and he cried. Like I don't want to see niggas who, I don't care about Bro he got reasons though He had to kill his mom and shit He didn't have to kill her He tried to save her But uh yeah, now like, spoiler alert, 
I guess this nigga Ed was in. There's like 60 episodes of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. This nigga got like one dub. This nigga got his shit ran for like I I. I don't, yeah, no, I, the fights is dope, but. What but, show should I watch first, Full Metal or Hunter Hunter? Hunter Hunter, nigga. Full Metal is shorter. Watch Full Metal is shorter. <laughs> You'll get through it faster, but like, yeah, that's another complaint I have yeah, with MC. Like, like, I don't like MCs who be like getting their shit wrecked a lot. I got the, I got the like who? Cover. What do you mean? Like, uh, I got, I got some of the nigga Naruto at first. Ichigo for a lot of parts of Bleach. You talking about Naruto like at the like the first Naruto show? No, nah, I'm talking about the beginning of Shippuden with fucking Sasuke and all the niggas was he, fucking. He's so hot headed. No, bro. What? Yeah, well, he was getting his ass whooped. Yeah, he. I, I did this new train. You're not gonna win every single. Yeah, bro. Like until Pain, did he have any wins in that whole show? Kakuzu. Oh yeah, nah he. Oh Samurai Champloo. Uh, that's another one where I actually do like the MCs the most. Oh sorry. But yeah. Uh, yeah, I hate you. Can't even find his number. But nigga, fucking. Oh, you talking about shows where oh, niggas begin? Oh yeah, no, I fuck. He not my favorite though. Huh? Now my favorite is that nigga. My favorite is that nigga Escanor. The fucking that's the goat, right? Hey, hey. That nigga, nigga Escanor be on that. Classic. Nah, I don't think I ever seen that. Oh Chase, uh, I know an example for you. That nigga Bo 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 Bo. I know that's your favorite character from that show. Is it? Yeah. What's the name of that show again? I forgot. Bo 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 Bo. That's the show. I thought that was a dude's name. No, that's the name of the show. Oh yeah, that nigga. In the show, they call him Bo Bo Bo. His full name is Bo 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 Bo. Man, get that bullshit out of here. Fucking uh, but. Yeah, nigga. Jelly Jiggler. I don't know. I don't like MCs who be like too. Uh, do y'all how y'all feel about them being like super overpowered? Like that nigga from Sword Art Online. That's dope. I like it sometimes. I don't know. Sword Some... Online is a good. Nah, that's that heat. Hey, bro, Sword it's Online. A show where the main Sword, Online, is not Sword Art Online gas. Incessi, incessi. Hey, that's the best part. But anyway. Hey, that's all the anime I like to watch. All right, then. I watched it like. Uh, yeah, hey, it's good. Watch it no. no. I'm, not, I'm not going to watch it with you. <laughs> But uh, shit. Wait, what'd you say, shit? That I had this. Uh, I, bro, I like it when they're overpowered because it's not a lot of shows where the main character is overpowered. And it's like a breath of fresh air. Every time we talk about anime, bro, it made me want to just watch some anime. Every time, uh, but I never watch it. You know what? I'm gonna watch some anime after I get. Hey, I fuck with that nigga too. That fuck nigga fucking Naoto from uh, FLCO. Fully Cooley. Yeah, the little kid. Hey, that nigga to go. He was getting his shit molested and stuff. What I mean, cause that show don't really got a mate. I like he's kind of the main character. But it's also the bitch with the fucking guitar, too. Hey, question, question. Bro, this nigga just said Cowboy Bebop is overrated, but he has it on Blu-ray. He's the one that made me watch it. Bro, like, made me watch bro it Tevin fully. a herb, bro, here. I'm not a herb. You Wait, a herb, bro. What's a herb, bro? It's an herb that gets smoked. Let me tell you this, Ooh. I said Cowboy Bebop is underrated. <laughs> wow, so what? You said overrated. Yeah, I said it's overrated, so what? And then, but look. If it went for Cow, I say this. If it went for Cowboy Bebop, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be into different like physiological. I wouldn't got deeper into philosophical. Ph- philosophical. I wouldn't got deeper into different oh, animes. Oh, I've probably just been watching Shonen. I forgot about the Goat MC. Besides so Goat, that nigga Aaron Yeager. Hey, I think What's that's the uh, Attack on Titan. What about, I was gonna say, is there? Uh, I was gonna use him to bring in a new example. Just use manga though. But uh, is there a show? Him in the show. Is there a show where there's a character that? Like, Wait, is that the guy that wears the white hat? No, it's the main nah, dude. That, that's, Levi is better than. I like he's, Levi better than. Not better. Oh, well, hey, my bad. I'm thinking the soul. Oh, one punch man <coughs> show with MC the worst nigga in there. But uh, I bro, love I know. Tom I'm saying. I, I think. I think Aaron's a good example. Like, there's been some MCs where you hate them at the beginning. You and like they develop, you know what yeah, I'm saying? I watched it. Like, has there been a show like that for y'all? Where they, like Aaron, when the Tag on Titan started, like yeah, when I first saw the first season, I hated that nigga. He was probably my least favorite like, <coughs> nigga like the, the main cast. I like the Captain Levi. But yeah, nah. As I like watched it and then read it, that nigga. Oh, you read it? Yeah. Nigga, it's I, way, hey, nigga, I got the new shit. Be, hey, but uh, true. yeah, no, nah, another nigga like that for me would probably be. I ain't like Naruto when Naruto first started. He never became my favorite, but I started <coughs> to fuck with him more. I think Deku. I hate you. I think Deku was one of the characters. Yeah, nah, Deku, Deku that grew on me because Deku at first was, he was just crying. Bro, that boy was a fucking yeah. lame until season two. Until he got that drip, bro. Until he started pulling up and like getting titties and stuff. Yeah, I got this boy but, uh, grill right here. Nigga, fucking. <coughs> yeah, nah, them animes, those be the yeah, ones that animes. like I think I like the most. Where, like they could take a character I didn't like and make me fuck with him. Uh, like Dragon Ball Z with uh, Vegeta at first. 
you know, like when he was a villain. Yeah, like, you know how after yeah, they made a lot of niggas love him. Like he's still her, but you know, yeah. still. That'd be like a lot of niggas' favorite character. Of course. Yeah. Man, yeah, yeah, do you think Dragon Ball Z is like the show where there's like the biggest difference with like niggas who favorite character is not the main character? Or you think it's like Naruto where like niggas fuck with like Sasuke and Naruto. Itachi more than they fuck with? I Naruto. think Vegeta has like, man. Yeah, no, because I think One Piece, most people will say. No, but I'm, ta- like their I'm talking favorite. ratio. Bleach, not number wise. Bleach, most Y'all people say Vegeta like. have more fans than. Uh, no, ratio, like, not number. Wait, you said ratio? Wait, Like, number. you know, the, the number of people who like the main character. Oh, no, I know. was going to say, uh, yeah, no. I mean, who like the I was gonna say, that shit secondary is, characters. That shit is way more popular. <clears throat> no, that's why I said I, I'm talking about ratio. Oh, number. it's not an anime, but Rick and Morty, the best character is easily that nigga, Mr. Mr. Poopy Gaming? Butthole. Rick ain't doing shit to him. <laughs> God dang! Facts. This poopy bus getting kind of hungry. I already told her last. <laughs> Shout out to him. You got the, you got the West Coast edition. I'm trying I got to the full it. edition. I want all of them. Bro, this nigga Chase really said that Bardock is his favorite. I, what? Bardock is my favorite. You want to know why but, Bardock is my favorite character? I don't He's the one character that fought, who, who that fought, that uh, fought for what he uh, believed in. Hey, and he didn't, no, but th- that's the thing. He died for what he believed in. He knew he was going to die in that fight. Hey, I heard Shaq's favorite Dragon Ball Z character is Broly. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now Goku's my favorite character, but Broly's my. Favorite. Hey, wait. This is a good. This is a good little segue. No. You don't want to do it. No. You don't want to do it. No. Shaq don't want to do it either. What? You really want to argue about? This? No, 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 no. Best, best Dragon Ball Z movie villain. Worst oh, okay. Dragon Ball Z movie villain. Hey, well, I'll start. <coughs> um, cooler. best villain. Yeah, nah, it's cooler. The cooler the fucking go. I know niggas overuse like sauce or drip, but that nigga really did come in with that fucking face mask and just fucking killed everybody. He said time sexy. to die. And yeah. Then, that shit was sexy. Bro, this nigga came back. <laughs> this nigga came back with the fucking burners on him the second time too. Like this nigga ate a fucking star because he wanted to kill Goku so bad. I hated I hated him in Xenoverse too. I cheated death by getting the big Bro, that nigga's star. been a fucking tough ass boss in like any of them movies. But uh yeah, my favorite one is him. The least favorite is probably do I gotta pick when there's been a multiple movies or it could be one? Dude, Andrew, the Andrew. Oh, I oh, fuck well. with Bojack a lot too. But uh, you like Bojack? Bojack yeah, is trash. Well, fuck you, nigga. Don't fuck me. <coughs> fuck uh, fucking, fuck but not a worse one. Doctor Wheelow. Yeah, I fuck with Doctor. Oh Willow. my I'm god! Cool, what, about, cool. what about what Rudy about uh, hey, Bio Brawl? Yeah, no, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna say Bio Brawl. I don't even consider him. He's just not, a monster. Wait, does that count though? He's not really like a kid. He, he don't really talk or do nothing. <coughs> That movie not even really a movie. I count the the, the scientists you know, that made that's it. That's the first. You no, know it's trash. Too. That's the first Dragon Ball Z was, movie I have seen. I oh mean, shit! Wait, yeah, no. Uh, Cooler's tied for me. I forgot with that nigga Janemba. Bro, I was gonna say Janemba is my top. Yeah. Either Janemba or uh, Android. Uh, he was just a digital boost. Bro, that nigga just had cool shit. But uh, yeah, yeah nigga. Cool as boost. for the worst, Rudigan. Garlic. Nah, that movie hard. That movie hard. Hey, too. Garlic was lit. Yeah, no, you're right. I'm probably gonna go with Doctor Wheel. That, <coughs> that nigga was just a pussy. Yeah. Like, bro, that world's strongest movie, I got it on Blu-ray What about the Turtles? Hey, I fuck, bro. I was right, thinking about that the, the other day. All the alternate Gokus we've had, they've all been kind of heat. Yeah. Like, Turtles is the worst one, but we also got Bardock and now Goku. Oh, that's Black. a DVD. Cool. Yeah. But, uh, <coughs> shit, nigga, yeah, now worst? Probably Wheelow or, yeah, I might, I might have to go with that, nigga. Which one was Wheelow on? He was a world strongest. Bro, I was, was a Hey, hey, Chase. I was watching that movie the other day, bro. That movie doesn't make any fucking sense. With Turtles? Yeah, that no, was, that's true of mine. No, that's true of mine. Now, Wheel, World Strong is the one where they trap them, like, under That's like the ground. one that, like, they, what's call it, huh? Like, they remade and shit. Oh, actually, you know what? The worst yeah, one? The nah, bro, the worst one is that nigga, Lord Slug. Fuck yeah, that. Dude. Nah. I, I take him bro, over. Lord Slug a fucking lame, nigga. You know what's funny? They they probably both tied for like worst Dragon Ball Z movies besides Brian and Broly. Yeah, no, nah, I am Broly's second coming. I, I'll be honest, though, I don't like Broly's <coughs> Broly movies. You know like, my favorite one was the second one, and even I don't think that one's that good. I don't know, Broly's just not that. And also, I was like a big Vegeta fan when the first one came out, and Broly like bitched this nigga where he was like trying to get away from him, like screaming and shit. That's why I love Broly. I'm like, yo, I mean, you have Vegeta. Bro, now that now that I'm like off of that, that's just gonna like, bro. <coughs> Broly gonna beat the shit out of that nigga this movie. I want to see how he beats up Frieza. Like it might. Hey, nigga, he gonna do him like fucking Dispo did. Frieza got his ass. Oh, you talking about when he grabbed him by the head? Yeah, and the tournament of power, bro. I ain't even gonna front. Frieza got his ass whooped by like most of the strong niggas. That's and why. That's, that's why I kind of hated Super because it's like hey, it downgraded still, the characters. I like. Nigga, Frieza's already downgraded. Bro. No, but when you see him in Dragon Ball Z, he's powerful. Hey, 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 pause, 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 pause. 
Hey, Shaq. Tell Chase what you said about Freeze when he came <coughs> back, bro. He got fucking one shot. Slice destroyed, bro. By a fan and he was already stronger. He fucking, was he was stronger yeah. than his one hundred percent. Bro, but you got think. He said so. when he came back as Mega Freezer, bro, Super could never do that nigga dirtier than they did him right there. Yeah, he got fucked. They said I just came back and now I'm stronger. Hey, no, no, Super did him way dirtier. No, he did hot. Bro, bro, right? he had to come back. came in, he was clean. Everybody liked Trump. He helped to win the tournament. Of what? No, but this is a thing. No, I'm oh. saying he got done dirty. I'm not saying he didn't do anything. He got done more dirty than that. Hell no. Yeah, nah, he got, w- got him by the head and started crushing him like it was nothing. Bro, this Come was, on, dog. He, nigga, he, he got one shot. Bro, he ended he up like, beating this. He did not ball. get one shot in by Chase. Trump. He did Chase. not get one shot in by So Trump. he did not get one bro, move. Hey, that wasn't one move. Chase, that was bro, move. Didn't nigga, that's move one to move. That's not one move. It's burning a cat. to any nigga, but the third strongest or the first strongest nigga in the whole universe. He still got done dirty. No, he did, no, he he did not, win. bro. Actually, he did win. You tripping, bro. I don't know. No, no, what no, what no, are you no, thinking no, about? No, 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 no you're tripping, no, bro. You're hey, this nigga, this nigga on, this this nigga on top. He was powerful. That took like five, six Negroes on him. Nigga, he's trash as fuck. Bro, bro he God. came back. Bro, in Super, he was powerful. He was, he was way better. Bro, in Super, in Super, he came back to Earth and killed a whole fucking squadron with like one beam. Nigga. Yeah, yeah what? Bro, Freezer, that's what they did in Super, man, he was way shit. better. Nigga, nigga, the golden Freezer form was at gas. That's and then he no, killed No, but then they made no, but they made Freezer. Okay, which is worse? Nigga, they ain't do shit to that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Nah, I was first. Look, which is worse? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm giving you the whole situation. Which one did him more dirty? Super or Z? When he got one shot at my... Uh, he did not get one shot at I'm going to say Z, bro. He got one shot I say, I say, no. Super. Nigga, he came back. Nigga, you know why it's Super? How? It's not because super. he just came... You want to know why? You're wrong. All right. You're wrong. You're wrong. What, hey, what's more humiliating? What's more humiliating? Right. You thinking you're extra powerful, stronger than what you was when you fought no. Goku Super Saiyan and no. get one shot at no. your no. first day coming back, nigga. No, 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 no. Super no. did Freeza too good. They did him no, too they good. Him no. hey, hold on, they hold gave on, him wait. God wait. power. Let me say no. something. No. Check, 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 check. Hey, look. Check, they gave him check, God check. powers without even training, number one. Bro, at the end of Z, Freeza wasn't even top 20 most powerful in the show. At the end of Super... Top five. Dead yeah, or alive. Dead or alive. Dead or alive. Dead or alive. Dead or alive. He was at the beginning before Super Saiyan was hitting. It, it don't matter. Still trash. Nah, Bro. You a monk. You wanna know why? Z because think about it. Chase, that makes no sense. Listen, listen. Don't listen. Let him say his point. Let him say his point. Watch this. Watch this. He just gonna say the same thing. Yeah, he just. We just heard you say it. No, you didn't. Why? Why? Because I didn't get to say it. Uh huh. When he came back to Earth, right? Sure. In his golden form. Ah, I got it. It's gone. Come on, really? Nigga, that was in a movie. That doesn't count. It's not Wait, that happened you, the show too. what do you mean what's going on? He was actually on equal par with Goku and Vegeta. No, but he ran out of his golden form. That makes sense. No, but but still, I said it did him dirty. Did right, he came no, no, no. back. Then when Vegeta came back, he, no, when Vegeta he, came back, up, no, Vegeta did him dirty. Hey, wait, hold on. You talking about Vegeta did him dirty? Wait, wait, I got another point for how Z, bro. Vegeta tore his. No, I don't watch it because I got. Bro, he got one shot in Z. But you gotta think. I was thinking, hey, hey, a fusion reborn. That nigga came back. And he lost the fucking ultimate Gohan garbage ass. One <laughs> more, nigga. Wait, hey, that's still a thing. Whoa, hey, hey, ultimate Gohan yeah, that's way stronger than Trunks. Yeah, he was. Whoa, you ultimate Gohan's the strongest character in Z. So you just helped me. Thank you. Thank you. Nah, that can't help you. He fucking murdered Z like he was fodder, bro. Z was worse, bro. No, no, Z. He had one bad move. What was that? You said it when he when Trunks came back. He had one bad moment. And and no 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 no, two, two, no. three versus your one to get this round. You're like, done, Chase. No, bro. let me. Okay, no, I know, I'm no, not no, hearing it. no, no. Let no, me, no. Let me, hey, hey, no, no. Hey, let hey, me hey, see hey, it. Hey, no, no. Let me see it. No, you wanna know why? You wanna know why? You wanna know why? No, I, y'all. What y'all saying? He got done the dirtiest, but in Super, he got done more dirty times. No, listen, listen. No, listen. Let me, let me, no. Let me turn. Let me, let me, let me do my, let me do my thing. Let me do my thing. Let me do my thing. Morning, Vegeta. Let me do my Boy, thing. No, let me do my thing. Wait, 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 wait. No, no. I just want y'all to answer some questions. All right, bro. When Goku was Super Saiyan, was Frieza outmatched? Yeah. Was he? Yeah. And you gotta think this was Goku in the middle of their battle, yeah. and he was st- and Frieza was still outmatched. So you think in Trunks, 
fully restored, coming back as Super Saiyan. You don't think that he's gonna be Frieza? Bro, he. No, 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 no. Listen, am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Frieza was stronger. Then what Goku yes. was back and when he went to Super Saiyan. Yes, he yes, was. He was when he came, came back. back. He nigga. said, I'm he strong enough mad. now to kill Goku. Guess what? what? Nigga, why were he was he strong. Rushing Guess what? Nigga, why were wait, wait, wait. But now this how they only can do one point. I did too. He got done dirty more in Super. Wait, you want to know why? How? When Vegeta was tearing his butt up in the in the Resurrection F saga. Okay, bro. Vegeta and father's nigga. Trunks this. No, no, no. Dirty. No, no, Shaq. You're missing my argument. Bro, he got done the most dirty in Super. Okay. He got done. The, no, 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 no. no. no he got done. He got done. He got cut done, done the dirtiest in, in Z. Dirty that was exactly. that dirty. Yo, yo, no. No, my argument was he got done the most yeah, dirty bro. in Super. No, he didn't. No, bro. Super made this nigga look like a. No, Shaq, Shaq, Shaq. He had no, no. Listen, no. Frieza had no, no. Listen, somebody in a forum. Listen, listen, bro. Everybody, you gonna get hung, bro. Bro, bro, but listen, like, bro, super did freeze no, 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 Shaq, 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 no, no, stop, stop, hey, stop. Hey, let's move on. Come Shaq, on, bro. Y'all on Shaq, no, be real, be real. Okay, let me end it. How many, no, no, how many no, times the no, no, how many times no. the freezer get beat up in in uh, super? Like, horribly, like horribly. Hey, but he survived two times. But guess what? He only got beat up in Z once, twice. and that's when he got one shot. Because he got demolished. Like, don't got The once time, what? Times two. No, no, he didn't get demolished by Goku. Don't say that. Yes, he did. No, because Goku was saying, saying stop. Goku. No, he killed Goku. What you talking about? Why are you what are you talking about? Stop. Freeza killed Goku. Hold on, bro. Freeza killed Goku. No, bro. Freeza killed Goku. Let me see my feet. Hey, Chase, it's okay. No, Freeza killed Goku. Remember, they had to wish him back to life with the Dragon Balls on the on the, uh, the, the Mekian thing. Remember when Goku was down, he's like, I killed him. Then he came back randomly. Oh, yeah. So boom! No, no, no. in no. Super he got done dirty the most. No, he didn't. Dude. But he got done the it's dirtiest right. in Z. That's I'm what right. I'm saying. B, am I right? No, I'm, I'm he got more humiliating moments in Super than he does it's Z. Over. <laughs> it's bro. over, bro. If you ask me, I don't remember the humiliating. humiliating That's because you only want to remember the good. No. See, who's that type of because nigga? You remember the good, good. and the bad. Yeah, he he meant, bro, but nobody no. remembers. I'm not saying he doesn't look good in Super, but he has more humiliating bro, moments in Super. Bro, nobody remembers hey, the bad moments. I do. Chase, Chase, let me just finish you with this. With I all, still with, want hold it. on. With, with all the complaints niggas had about Super, huh? which niggas had many, like two different nigga, none of the complaints about Super had to do with Freezer, but a lot of the things niggas said was their greatest strength was bringing back Freezer. Letting him be the goat no, again. No, I'm not saying he was done wrong shit, all throughout Super. I'm saying he had more humiliating moments in Super. I don't even really agree with you on that, but... It, we're gonna he didn't? Numbers. So when Vegeta was pummeling him on the ground, that wasn't humiliating? No. That I mean, wasn't humiliating. Nah, because right, he was real. Be, no, I hey, no. He was like, Vegeta, please join yeah, me. Vege yeah, you're done. It's like, hey, oh. Yeah, because he fought the good fight. He was begging for it. Hold on. Is it still humiliating when he blows up the planet and kills them niggas? Basically, yes, because then when they come back and he just dies, that happens twice. Because they cheated. They basically cheated. Hey, hey guess wait, what? Hold on, hold on. Three times? Bro, hold on, bro. Nah, right, we're, done, we're done. Bro. We're done. Guess what? We're, we're done. done. We're, we're done. 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 We're done. No. We're done. Chase. No. Oh, Chase. Hey, Chase. Chase. Hey, Chase. Chase. Hey, I told Chase. you. Chase. 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 Let's bring you back to Chase. your Chase. Hey, relax. Hey, hey, relax. We hit a two hour mark. And y'all want to argue about that? Hey, bro. Listen. Come on. Hey, hey, come on, bro. Let's take a yeah. <laughs> just, just off that note, I think I think it's time to like you know go to it. That was you gotta calm down. You gotta calm down. No. Yeah. Nah. This is chase back. Yeah. Yo, I got my chase bag, boy. Boy, yeah. chase bag is Hey, that's why I stand up and I start arguing. I start hitting the hey. back, boy. Man, we we have to end it on that one, bro. That was, <laughs> yeah, all right, yeah, that yeah. was just that was just too crazy. Right got there. me sweating over here. Hey, hey, God, that, was, that was too crazy. I was not about to cry. Hey. And we want we want that to be the cover art right there. That shirt. No. That well, shirt. You definitely want us to get banned. We need that shirt as the cover art. Oh, wait, right. hold on. I just want to say uh, there was one more thing on there. <laughs> Last thing on this list was uh, about the best anime rappers. Killer B. A lot of you herbs will say fucking Rob Banks, but it's Lupe Fiasco. That's, That's all we need to say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, yeah, you know, 
Tell them where the podcast is found and stuff. No, everybody do. Everybody do a closing note. Nah, I'm not, I'm done now. My voice hurts. Yeah. Well, I do too. And I got some now, man. Yeah. You got any closing notes, man? Yeah. Yeah, that y'all are some weeaboos, bro. I swear <laughs> no, to God. This guy, no, it's not. I was thinking fast. Y'all was going crazy. Bro, like Neil, bro. Like, y'all points don't be making no sense. My points wasn't making sense. I th- y'all was arguing two different points. But was I? No, but B. I like, understand what you meant. Like, but they wasn't acknowledging what I was saying. I feel like we're going, no, 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 no. I feel like we're going, who, hey. Who's going to remember what? This is Tevin and I'm out. Because I, I feel like y'all going to keep going. Frieza came back. Got strong. Man, look. I ain't shot. arguing with hey, this. Hey, hold on, man. It's over. Yeah, it's over. You can argue about it. Look, you know, this this chase the dark say, you know what I'm saying? But you can you check start us out. yelling like that at Waterbury or something, you're gonna get shot. So <laughs> I know. <laughs> hey, I wanna get shot. I'm gonna get shot. Boy. Injection of that patty milk, boy. boy. But like I'm saying, you can check us out on anchor.fm, uh Google Podcasts, Apple I, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher Radio, tune in. You can do all that. Um, links will be in the description. Uh, times will be in the description too. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get better at that. I feel like this episode we had a good episode. How, how do you guys feel? Uh, yeah, it was cool. You know, too. Chase got in his fucking Goku not episode ninety of Dragon Ball Z bag for a second. <laughs> um, I have the blue so I really act like watch they all killed that. his best friend. Nigga, I got him too. <laughs> how do you feel about this podcast, B? Uh, it's cool. That's what I'm gonna say. For all right, Shaq, you got any last opinions about the podcast? Hey, so I'm going out. My boy said he want to eat. All right, you guys, and we're out.